JKB back with another episode. JKB back with another episode. I will tell you now. Oh, that music slaps. Doesn't that music slap? I was just on the Lol Cow podcast. And I will say this for those of you who didn't see it. We discussed the situation that happened. And I will put it this way. I didn't make myself seem like an angel and tough questions were asked. But I got DMs of apologies after it was done. I will answer questions about the situation today, but after that, there is nothing else that needs to be said. I will also say something else as well. If there are some people that I have disconnected with, that is my business and my business alone. One of the things I have done here too, and it is my own fault, is I have created some parasocial relationships. Um... I need to stop doing that. I have no one to blame for that but myself. What was half truths? If it was half true, what was half true if Jay could have been on? Tonight I'm going to talk about it. Oh, it feels great to be right. And there's a lot of people's egos here that won't let them hear anything different. They want to go with their narrative. And I also understand something too. Me employer, J employee, I laid him off. I've also been in the situation where I've been laid off. You empathize with him too. I understand that. Tonight, I'm going to talk about it plenty, but after tonight... I will tell people to refer to that motherfucking podcast because everything was there, was there to be said. So come sue me, Jay. Let's go. I'll use the publicity and I'll wipe the and I'll wipe my ass with the rest of your non-existent career. Oh, shit. A lot of you guys don't know. I probably should have waited to do this tomorrow night. They're probably chopping it up right now. Fuck. You don't understand. Oh, shit. (laughs) 
you don't understand what's going. I was like, wait. Oh, no. I'm an idiot. That's why you don't understand. This isn't me just going hi ya again. Just throwing another one out there. <laughs> I'm 42, and let me tell you something what happens, Barack Obama. I'm going to guess you're in your early 20s. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But here's the thing. If you think disputes between adults have stop happening like when you're like 30 or 25... <laughs> No, it gets worse. People actually get more petty than high school and more vitriolic than high school because it's not only emotions on the line, it's finances and pockets being lined that are on the line. So it gets worse. So if you're thinking that people are happy-go-lucky when they get older and shit like this doesn't happen, even when you work a normal nine to five, I hate to break it to you. As a man who used to work a real job and is now, according to people who hate me, unemployed, now, it gets worse as you get older because people want to steal from your pockets and will defame you and try to destroy you to benefit and put money in their pockets. That's adulthood. Enjoy. Do I have seltzer up there? I do not. What's the point, Pitt? What else would you like me to say? Jay should have been there. He's had so many offers. Jay, sue the fuck out of me. You will be the first, just like Keemstar said. You would be, it would be a miracle if it even sees a courtroom. Get a fucking lawyer. Sell your Zelda sword. Get a lawyer. My fat fucking ass will get an Armani. I'll go bankrupt for the suit. What are you going to sue me for? Because I told the truth. You snake, you manipulating, gaslighting bastard. I know I'm going to lose audience members because of it. There's people that have an emotional attachment, which you took advantage of too. A thumbnail, what was it, your second or third stream? I've been emotional on streams before. I've had my issues on streams before. But you, you did the same thing Wood Hawker did that you made fun of him for. Where you made yourself sad. Remember you roasted him about that? Should he sue you? How many people? You've been, you've roasted people harder than I've ever have on this show. You've said, file things, which is fine, man. You know how I am. But now you're going to turn around, be sensitive and be, oh my God, I think I need to speak to legal counsel. When you were the one saying that other YouTubers that you went to conventions with, you stopped being friends with because they were too soft and couldn't take jokes. My audience was here to see it. I'm sure if you dig through my 8 billion fucking live streams, you could find him saying it. And now you want to sue for you get a little bit of flack? What happened to the guy who in twenty early 2018 told me if I don't take what trolls are giving me, if I can't take criticism, that I'm going to destroy my career? And you can't do it, obviously. You fraud. Fucking fake veneer piece of shit. Why won't you sh the only the only podcast you did was a circle jerk. So the sycophants who only want to hear your side anyway, probably because they want to blow you. Be like, oh my God, Jay, you see, he, oh you had to work twenty four seven for Rich. Did he have you on a giant hamster wheel with a laptop inside of it, and he didn't feed you? 24-7, like you're a fucking on call nurse. What was it? Yeah, okay. There were, I woke up at erratic times, I admit that. My, uh, you know what? And my time management sucks. I will hold that too. But when the fuck did I make you ever like wake up at 3 24 7, like at 3 in the morning? Do a goddamn video right now. How many times you crawled back to me? That was why I let you go like a light switch. Now I could, ooh, I feel so good to be able to talk about this so candid. Because you begged and begged to fucking come back. How many times you begged like a coward? What'd you do this time? You begged again. You wanted to take over the main channel. And I was like, 
I was taking a walk, like I said in the Low Cow podcast. I was like, what the fuck? Like, you mean you want to buy it? I could afford to buy it. What do you, you just want to like run it? No. That's why I just cut you off this time while I was taking a shit. Because every time I didn't, you would beg to come back or convince me to keep doing news consistently. I know I'm putting up news. J Dusty, I did the Low Cow podcast today. I forgot the episode isn't up yet. A lot of you don't understand. I'm sorry. I apologize. I thought it would have been live by now. I know duty has it up. I don't feel... I feel like it's a moral gray area. I'd rather wait for a lull cow to have it up. I made the mistake and thought they would have had it up today. I apologize. No, I took a walk, Jessica. I do about 6,000 steps a day. You watched it live, but a lot of people didn't see it. So I'm sorry. I should have probably waited a day to do this. And that's on, I, I just thought it would have, uh, you blew it. I know duty has it, but low cow doesn't have it up yet. I could ask. No one, t so. What I did not do. So, why have I lost it? Someone was trying to put a narrative out there about me that wasn't true. What do you want me to say? If When I talk about Melanie Mack all the time, why am I not hearing that I need psychological help? Why? Because I, I understand that people have, are friends with Jay, or they feel they're friends with Jay, or they feel that I wronged him no matter what I say. But if I talk about tipster if i said the same stuff about tipster would you tell me that i need psychological help look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself that i know what the answer is how am i how am i an angry coward when i'm the one who showed up to a podcast with thousands of people and jay hid like a pussy Well, Ray, you can't stand me. You would think I would need help no matter what. I could be smiling and say I won the lottery and you would tell me to kill myself. Um, I'm 42. And 42, year if you think that people stop having disputes after like a certain age, you're probably in your 20s and you probably think me being in my 40s, I may as well be dead. Uh, yeah, he's too afraid to stand behind his words. How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? Cobra Spalashed Bastard donated $10. Going through M tweets. I did Jay miss was this. making himself be a martyr nonstop. Oh my also, God. He knows that DSP interview was your dream and he flexed about it. No, Funny it was, how was he's just like his fellow Canadian Keffels. Hopefully Jessica doesn't murder Cobra on her trip to Casper. Here is a thing and we'll, we'll, we could watch some Cobra. Maybe, maybe I got to get something to drink though. The whole thing, what was funny with me is that a lot of people like, Rich, stop reacting. And everyone, like, I, do you know how much I didn't react to? Do you want it? A lot. I got DMs from people, people taking screenshots, people taking screenshots of Discord shit, people taking this. Oh, I should. Oh, my God. He's saying that he got a DM. That's like leaking them. It's, and I'm like, so like, yeah, I know I reacted to too much. You know what? I'll admit that. But <laughs> you know how much I didn't fucking react to? Do you, you want to know? Google fish, I'm not answering. I'm not answering. I, I, I'm not a high school teacher. I'm, I don't know what the fuck I am, but it's my choice. Choices were made that I'm sticking to. Um, and that's, that's final. <laughs> 1k viewers so 
you could think what I want to, but I guarantee you the people saying that you need help, you need help, you need help, you need help. If this was Tipster, if this was someone else, if this was Keffels I was talking about, you wouldn't say the same thing. Who didn't show up to answer questions but a reality? Who's the person? Was it this fat fuck or was it the Queen of Canada? I think you know the answer, bitch. This fat fuck went on low cow live and Jay hid like a bitch. Tell me in which way you could move the goalposts because you want to gargle on Jay's nuts that that makes me the coward. I will, we could sit here. I could take a nap. Pescator could make me coffee. I could use a little bit. I'm a tad tired. I almost threw my fucking computer out the window today. That's why I was late to the low cow podcast. I re-edited that fucking, it kept crashing. Tell me, tell me. Tell me how I'm the coward as I'm sitting here telling my side, even my faults of my side. Where's Jay? Oh, Jay, where are you? Where are you and your big giant Canadian vagina hiding right now? Where? Tell dad. Are you gonna lawyer up, Jay? Aw. You're such a fucking pussy. (laughs) Hello, dude, mama. How are you? So for those of you who don't know. How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? Yeah, he's... They're going to start a podcast called the We're Perpetual Victims Podcast, Pescator Keffels. It's going to actually, Tipster will be a co-host too. (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, you know what's probably going to happen because of this? I'm going to keep it real. I'm sure the Big Cheese, remember when he had a business dispute with Big Cheese 37 years ago? How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? Are you seeing the trend? Evan donated $10. Before the podcast, I thought you were the bad guy. Now I don't. Jay should have come on. He shouldn't have said he would sue you. You articulated your points well, good job. Yes, thank you so much, dude. I really fucking appreciate that. Like, I I feel, and I'm sorry to the people, that's me. I should have waited another night, and I will. That's also a stupid fucking mistake. I was like a fat fucking kid running into a candy store. I I told the truth. People understand now, and I'm like, oh, let me go. The podcast is up. No, I'm an idiot. It's not up. A lot of you have no fucking idea what I'm talking about. You just think I'm continuing the ball of drama on, and for that, I'm genuinely sorry. That was a bad judgment call on my part. Holy fuck, I need a drink. I feel like the Sandman's cock has been down my throat. JKB back with another episode.
there were some people that thought I was like serious. I was pretending to be uber positive today. Um, and then I said some, like all that positivity is out the window. I'm like, dude, I did it because I saw. I wasn't going to say anything initially publicly about the lawsuit. But then someone told me, it's like, dude, it's so... It, he's out of his mind. It's so ridiculous. They're like, yeah, talk about What is he going to do? Sue you because he cried one night? What's up? Where is it? Sent to... Oh, Quasi, you are a fucking legend, bro. Okay, here we go. I hate... I, I fucking usually... Ah, oh, it's on duty, though, man. I can't do that to lolcout. That I can't do that to the... To, when they're ready to upload it, you know, I, I it's a gray area. No, I actually consider you a friend. If you wanted to fuck me over, you could have 50,000 times to Sunday by now. You also don't kiss my ring either. That's why I like you, said person that DM'd me. Because you will roast me too. You'll fucking... Just like I was Phil. I respect that. I didn't turn on Minxie. I just wanted to say hello to the fellow podcaster that um, uh, sucked the fart out of Jay's ass and wanted to show support. Is little old me wrong for doing such a thing and being kind and positive to my fellow creators? I'm sorry. I was just trying to spread the love to the community that tried to fuck me over. Hi, Mingxi. I'm not picking up Googlefish. My choice has been made. It is done. Thank you. Have a great day. Now, I'm a 42-year-old man acting like someone tried to steal my business. I'm a 42-year-old man who now my income is going to be decreased because someone wanted to be use me as a launching pad because they lack the talent to do it themselves. You think that this shit you think this shit stops after a certain age? You're either young or if you've had lived a v I envy your life because it actually gets worse as you get older. And it's not just from my perspective. I know many people, whether you're in the corporate world, whether you're doing this weird shit, whether you're in the actual entertainment business, where as you get older, people get more diabolical and more cutthroat. Not everybody. There's a lot of good people on this planet. But at the same time, if people want to move up any kind of ladder to garner more success, they will step on you to do it. Not everyone is evil. There's mostly good people on this planet. But you have to do what you have to do uh. to protect your integrity. Yes, I just said that after burping. <laughs> Astro Zombies. I'm not playing anything. Chaos is a ladder. Pescatar, you're, you're around my age, right? You're a little bit younger than me, you're, but you're close to my age. You know how this shit works. Am I saying it? If you, if you think I'm nuts, tell me I'm nuts. But you've been in this shit. You know how it is. You're 45, so you you don't you have a little bit more life experience than me. Does the, does the kind of stuff that Jay and I is happening now, does that magically stop, like, I don't know, after 25? <laughs> Oh, no. Sleep. No, dude. I don't think, again, Sean, you don't understand. I'm actually happy. I'm venting, but I'm happy. I just did the Lol Cow podcast. He, Keemstar's okay with the clip. Are you sure? 
I wouldn't want him to do that to my shit. That's why I'm being like, if I had a show that I was like, yo, I have people paying wait till tomorrow. You know, that's, that's like me being like the fucking discrambler boxes from back in remember those. That's how I used to watch porn. So, Terrence, yes, I'll mod you. I know you, bro. I see you. I could use some more mods here. Let me text Keem. How about that? Or Boogie, I could ask. Can I watch? Why? Oh, cap, caps. I seem like I'm a fucking meth addict. Can I watch? Oh, yeah. Nate was in the uh, Nate was in the stream as well, telling me he hates me. Those on duty streams just wanted to ask first. I appreciate you, Duty, and I want you like I just you know that they did me a huge favor, and I want to show respect. It's not 2015 where I where where I was a fucking idiot and thought I was perfectly fine to mirror my episode of Drama Alert on my channel. Breathe. Why are you, why are you telling me to breathe? I don't. My breathing does not feel labored. I did let out a lot of words in between breaths, though. In between breasts. I wish I was in. We're going to get to all the super chats. My apologies. Oh, no, I took accountability. I should not have posted on Facebook. I should have kept it private. It doesn't matter what he said to me. That was very unprofessional of me. There is no refuting that. But the sequence of events that happened after that, Jay was an absolute fucking bastard for. He played the victim to profit. And you know what? If you hate me because I'm saying that, then thank you for the years of support. I am going to die on that hill. If a firing squad was on that hill, then fucking load me up, chief. <laughs> So I feel good. This isn't like, yeah, I'm angry thinking about this, but this is like, and I'm not talking about this. You know, what? if people want to ask me shit, oh, 130, you just can't stand me. Who cares? I'm going to refer to duty's clip or to Lokau. Jay took a, and you know what? Dude, even if you are, in some ungodly way, lawyer, I haven't heard back yet, lawyering up. Like, what do you have? You have nothing. Do mama, I know. I'll f I, you're not in that parasocial territory. We could chat later. Oh, force drama. Your name makes anything you say null and void. Sorry. Why? Why do I need to talk about it after that? What else needs to be said? The situation is that nothing else is going to develop. What's going to happen now? And yeah, I mind fuck people with my video today. That was rich. Your video today was weird at the end. Oh, yeah, that was by design, motherfucker. <laughs> Okay. He will get uh, 1130 AD. Thank you for being a fan. He will get the Guinness Book of World Records for being the first person to actually have that from another country actually especially go through. It's tough to happen in the States if like one person's going after another person in the States. Good luck between two countries. Ho Good luck, Jay. I, I guess you must have hit the lottery or something. Hmm. Uh... What the fuck could he sue for? Uh, I, I guess I made his vagina bleed. Or ass. Both. <laughs> yeah, dude. Mate, Jay hit the lottery. I mean, even... 
H3 back in the day when that idiot with that terrible video sued them. They actually had to, I mean, and they were doing pretty good back then, but it's expensive. They had to start up a GoFundMe. Yeah, Jay was chilling. He was having a chill stream. Hey, guys, I have a cop on. What the, what the fuck are you doing? Having a fucking dare, dare program on your show? Let's have a chill night. Here's my schedule. Okay, Phil. How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? Darth Sidious donated $10. Commander Masuchi, the time has come. Execute Order 66. The fuck is Order 66? Look, man, thank you. And let me get all the super chats because we're. I, I don't think I answered a single fucking. <laughs> oh, I fucked up tonight so bad. I thought the podcast was up. People are here. They have no idea what I'm talking about because the podcast isn't up. Should have waited one more night. I actually had some more. Dude, I recorded so much Elden Ring footage along with doing that video. Yeah, I could have done more Elden Ring tonight. And just smiled in the lands between thinking about how Jay got fucked in the ass by me being on the Low Cow Podcast. Hi, Jay. And then people would have been like, what the fuck is it? Why is he good? I understand. I would be annoyed if I was you right now, too, and didn't understand the context. I'd be like, this fucking fat fuck is talking about him again? Stop. Rich, it's really weird. I would say that to me. That's me talking to myself. I need therapy. Yeah, 1,300 viewers. You know the irony of people, and it's just human nature. I know. Drama is stressful. There's a lot of you that say that, and you're not wrong. I 100% agree. This, I mean, what I went through with my daughter tops it tenfold. I have never felt stress like that in my life. Uh, this is in the top ten, though. I caused some of it myself. I admit that. He won't care if I rack pescator, you would know. Okay, duty. Let's go. Let me answer Super Chats first. Um, don't worry about the tards on Twitter. They're basement-dwelling virgins, like Keemstar said. And they're also, their minds, there's people that their minds are made up, and they're never going to return, okay? Then they, they, they again, there's like, I understand because I've been there. They look at Jay and be like, man, I've been the guy who's been laid off. Oh, dude, the, they'll start back up. You found me because of the QVC videos? You know what, though? I believe that. I'm not going to hit the applause. Don't worry. Everyone sees my finger up and they're like, run. Um, is that I get more views on QVC than QVC does. I'm like the detractor of QVC. Like Phil gets 300 viewers when he streams. His detractors who are restreamers get like a thousand concurrent viewers. So I'm a QVC detractor. Yeah, so you get a... Oh, oh. Wait, hold on. Where's my... Oh, I thought I got rid of the fart. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, fun fact, I am still a dumbass who has not gotten to the Super Chats. So I got to Azora. Yeah, it, it's... Their minds are made up. I won't repeat the whole thing. Feels good to be right. I wasn't completely right. Like Tommy C said, how I handled the beginning was poorly. I admit it. I've admitted it from the beginning. But the rest, Jay became a manipulative gaslighting snake. We'll get to Duty's video in a second. Shout out to Duty. Like I do is like, Duty, clip away, motherfucker. Uh, I hear Coco go, I don't want to talk about that. It was a member only stream. No, he opened it back up again. Dude, there were people saying that they can't stand me and hate me, and Nate was there saying I'm a piece of shit. And but trust me, it was it was no one was sucking on my cock. I was being nicely passive aggressive with Minxie. 
she was part of she was part of the uh the cultivating of the sympathy for a man who did not deserve the sympathy that everyone thought that he did and i wanted to say hello to say i know you helped hi minxy no everyone let me make this abundantly clear leave her alone i'm stating my fucking opinions okay do not bother anybody that i'm talking about do not bother jay do not bother minxy don't bother uh, i don't care who you like or hate leave them the fuck alone you're worse just like h bomber guy said and it is the goddamn truth you are worse than the people that we talk about if you bother them it does nothing for anybody it solves no problems when did i ever want people bothering jay i'm bothering him 24 7 uh what sex fantasy do you live in that you think oh my god jay is he abusing you again oh man is are you sad oh yeah. oh 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 god you're oh spank me daddy you're fucking out of your mind uh i saw you if you would have modded me no dude i had gaming politician i'll hit you up bro i trust you no, I had to do another like purge where you just hit the X button again because shockingly people were getting caught up in their feelings. Uh, give us the cliff notes. Uh, people heard my full side of the story and I did not hold anything back, even if it was detrimental for me to say about me. KP, I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not, but thank you for calling me a kick a kick ass guy. Uh, yeah, Sue, you know, man, you, you watch detractor shit like I do. Like, don't bother. Like, look, man, clip, 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 clip me, clip Phil, clip Jay, clip Keem, clip whoever. We're here. We're public figures. I saw there was like a short of someone had clips of me crying on stream. Clip, go ahead. But don't bother people. Leave it, leave it on YouTube. Leave it on fucking YouTube. Don't be a scumbag. Just be a dickhead like me. Well, it is called the Lull Cow Podcast. Uh,. The deleted messages was a mistake. My bad. Which deleted messages? Uh, Fairway University. Yeah, it is sad. Because Jay and I go back to when Left 4 Dead 2 came out. I'll finish the work together for six. It's just sad to see it end this way. Trippy Savage is sending me a link. Which means, knowing him, it's probably something directly Lol Cow Podcast related. I know I'm not on the screen where you guys could see. I will change that momentarily. Jay is hiding behind a fairy tale lawyer. Uh, 14 years of friendship down the drain. Welcome to uh, welcome to business. Hope you don't have to deal with it, but you probably will. Uh, Jessica had a wait. Is Jessica the, is she has herpes right? Let me tell you something. Don't you think like Jay, Jay? like intro guy and I would make a great show I've thought about it even taking out a loan to give him like a year's salary I don't want to do it he's like my brother I mean we've had some heated arguments before because we're like I've known him since I've been like nine years old I I would rather go bankrupt than lose his friendship I'm not being melodramatic I'm serious I mean, I'd always make sure my kids have a roof over their head and stuff, but no way. It's not worth it. You know? Like, if he's here, like, if, say, like, something moved him back here, would I pay him per diem to be, like, a co-host once in a while? Yeah, of course. That's different. But what I... Jay and I had a weird... I sh It should have just stayed, honestly... It should have just stayed that he was the editor, not like a co-host and personality. It was that was a mistake too. 
because I knew even if I don't know if she actually has herpes. That's what I've been told. I don't like when people that could be a complete fucking misinformation. I did make him the co-host. I was like, hey, we, we, we have good personalities to get uh, together. And then it got too much. And that was a mistake. That was a mistake that I chose. You squeezed all I could from him. Tell me you watched the stupid Circle Jerk podcast without telling me you watched it. Like he said he was on call 24-7. When was that? Jay? I know it's. I, I'm, I'm spurging about the same thing from before. I would like evidence of when you. We could look through the videos. I didn't delete anything when you were uploading, or I demanded a news story or something at two in the morning. I beg you. Did you see the dark side RTU diss track now? Ever see Willie's Wonderland? It has Nicolas Cage. No, I haven't. Wings 007 then, eh, I don't know about that, man. He's pretty creepy. Jay's not on that level. Hey, Rich, I watched the Locals with you and Jay. Jay was right. He would have came on. Someone else that I'm friends with, I don't consider them. Like I've, They've been a follower of mine for years. The Locals Live is up. Now I feel even more comfortable. Cool. Let me just get through these super chats. Um, yeah, don't hide behind a lawyer, dude. You'll be the first case in like... I maybe even world history. Has there ever been a defamation case, an international one, especially that has went through? Yeah, I have. I have a Discord. Just got here. What happened? I was on the Lol Cow podcast, which the clip is now up. I should have waited. A member of what? Uh, thank you, Phil. I appreciate that, BB. Phil going on local was a huge W, and I was talking to shout out to Justin Silverman. He's uh, he calls me a piece of shit all the time, but I call we call each other pieces of shit out of love. <laughs> and if, and I said to him and someone else, I'm like, really, in the beginning, I would have rather ate. A fucking sandwich full of razor blades that going on there. I was like, is this a mistake? Am I going to fucking put the death knell in my career? Or is this going to exonerate me? I was betting on the latter or the former, whatever the first one is, that it would kill me. And I got lucky. I just rolled the dice with my eyes closed and it worked out. Oh, Phil, I, uh, Phil Cernel, we'll go into that. I saw that too. You know when Phil, and you know if, if, if Phil was wrong about Jay, you guys know I could like or hate somebody. I will say my true feelings, uh, my, my true thoughts, I mean, and put my feelings aside. At least I think I try to. But you could even see, like, you know when we all have seen enough Phil, unfortunately. <laughs> To know when Phil is lying and when he's telling the truth. And I was looking at his body language. Like, is he telling the truth about Jay? And I kept looking. I'm like, yeah, he fucking is. Jay, you fucking snake again. God damn it. Phil is legitimately roasting you. Dude, go make a show with Keffels. JKB back with another episode. JK. Oh shit, I didn't do it right. I gotta fix it. Ah! Uh, where is the. Uh, I, I called Jay that get it, the Queen of Canada. Overlap, there we go. JKB, JK back with another episode. Your future's looking bright, Jay. Who's met? I'm concerned about this message. (laughs) 
Yeah, he has no comment on the situation. The comment is his vagina is bleeding. Okay, man, I can't wait to go to court, bro. Even if it puts me in fight, it, it makes me financially destitute. The publicity I'll get from it, I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait for the letter in the mail or the door to ring and someone to hand me that piece of paper. Come on, motherfucker. Help boost my career and help make yourself and help finish yours. It's a win-win. I get to watch you get ruined even more. And I get a boost because everyone will know that a sensitive asshole from Canada who can't take criticism, who used to give way harsh criticism. You remember the savage stuff I was talking about this before you used to say on here. Man, with the stuff you said, you should have a line of lawyers at your door, you fucking pussy. You should have, everyone should be knocking on your door. Woodhawker, knocking on your door. Who else have you talked about on here? Whose dick were you touching against another dick? I think he said that. Some, I'm sure one of you here can either confirm or deny out of my 8 billion episodes again. Where it's like, oh yeah, we, we touched dicks to make sure we were, to prove we were straight. Am I wrong about that? How savage was he with Hot Dude Cam? And all these other people. Should they be suing you, Jay? How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? Anyway, let me go back to the... Rich Big Ass Tits donated $10. Thank you. Was Jay paid 2500 before tax or after tax? Was it in USD or Canadian dollar? In any case, 2500 is barely enough to survive. If I was Jay, I would have looked for a new job a long time ago unless he had other side hustles. Okay. He made a different choice. He was okay with the money that How I was paying him and never complained. How about kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? Minxie's Moldy Sandwiches donated $10. Wings007 took a massive L on that podcast but respect him for taking it like a man. Cobra best get his ass ready. Jessica will fuck up his utility bills. Thanks for showing your bare ass on stream. I honestly thought those cheeks looked like raw chicken. Whose cheeks? What, so what, it, the payment that he was, first off, the payment that he was given, Jay was more than happy with. But he, again, he was with me for six years. What I paid him is not, I brought it up during the podcast. But if he was happy with it, why, if you're unhappy with it, what does it matter? What someone, what someone else eats doesn't make you shit, right? Trust me, Jay's not a shy guy, as we all know. If he, if he wanted more, he would have asked for more. Right? Excellent goalpost move, but you still fucking failed. Yes, sir. Well, I won't. I won't agree with the play with tra in traffic part. That's not okay. But you know, anyone else complaining about the the pay that Jay agreed to needs to go fucking cry in a corner. Uh, that's not true. Jay couldn't talk due to his lawyer, Johnny Cochran. Yeah, that's true. He his lawyer. He his lawyer is is a ghost. The ghost of Johnny Cochran. Man, if he got the ghost of Johnny Cochran, imagine <laughs> I'd be fucked. Uh, that would be the f world record of the first defamation case that How actually about you worked. Kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls. You missed way too much. Good Ivan. morning, USA. Donated ten dollars. It's shocking that troll you had from Scotland hasn't come back because of this. He's been inactive for like two years now. Cause he's probably in a fucking mental asylum. He was fucking psychotic. I thought you guys you missed so much. And you probably did yourself a favor missing virtually all of it, if not all of it. <laughs> uh, David, again, I, I this is probably a super chat from a while ago. You understand the situation. This was the victory lap. I'm a petty bastard stream. I'm going to go look again at the super chats. Uh, shared a photo. Oh, no. No, 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 no.
Okay. Hey, man. Like I said, I'm not changing people. I I could show a picture uh, of Jay. He. This is just an as if example. Nothing like this has ever happened. Of him fucking using a pump action shotgun and shooting it at my house, and people would be like, "Well, yeah, you didn't pay him enough." I'm two faced. How am I two faced? What do you mean? Oh, here, here. Oh, here's another person who's naive about life. You've been around for a little bit, so you're not. Um, imagine that people say things behind the scenes that the public aren't supposed to hear, but other people are pussies who will exploit them to make them public for their own personal gain. Imagine that. That mull that over in your head. Think about it. Come back to me, and maybe you'll be a little bit smarter. Um, so David, how about you kiss I hope my you understand and lick my balls? Good morning, USA donated $10. No, he's still active on Steam, but he's not doing any videos anymore. Some people have asked him to come back, but he's refused. That troll from Scotland you had. Yeah, good. I'm glad. If you fuck with me, as you see, I'm a pretty relentless guy. I keep it above the belt. But I would have, if it meant me to defend myself, if dying on this hill meant I don't have to get my fat fucking ass to work at a post office, so be it. I know I do stupid shit, but in certain cases, pride is worth more than my than goddamn money. Um... So, Rich, my friend, so thank you, David. Hope you understand more of the context now. If I'm lying, why was I the one that showed up and Jay wasn't? Uh, you always stream while I'm at work, and I have no idea what's happened the last two months. Well, let's see. Uh, hurt my leg. Thought I almost had a blood clot in it. My it didn't though. I never had a blood clot. It just I fucked up my leg and it was swollen. Uh, let's see what else happened. My mom had to get her gallbladder removed. Uh, my dad got hip surgery. Um, me and Jay had an awesome makeout session. We're the best of friends. No. No. Ask Keemstar the same thing. You get the whole story when there's a moderator and a two people there. I would love for... I implore Jay, and you could watch... The, we'll watch either duty streams or we'll watch the officials clip, whatever. I implore Jay to show up. And now he's going to say he's hiding behind a lawyer. He'll win the, he'll win the world record case for defamation. It'll be a first... So I answered that. Phil, so Sky Guy, thank you for becoming a member. I don't know the whole story. And I don't really, look, I don't really care. Um, I said hello to Mike recently. We just chatted. It was nothing, you know. <clears throat> Matsu has probably said birds about 750,000 fucking times already. Relaxed peg anus. I will get to your super chat. I motherfucking promise. Did I miss it? Relaxed peg anus. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I just don't. Um, so... I don't have, look, Mingxi, you don't have to worry about me. I'm not going to bother you. I'm not going to, I think I said this before, I'm not going to do anything. But you help cultivate this. And I know, and that's it. That's all that's going to happen. It will just, 
I'm just letting it be known. And for God's sake, I'm going to go say a partial speech aside. Leave the fuck, whoever I'm talking about, leave them alone. Jonathan, how is it a lie? Uh, DL5, thank you very much. How about so, you kiss no, my fucking Jossler. ass and lick my balls? Tremendous Mega Fawaz donated $10. PlayStation Spectral Super uh, Resolution, PSSR, is aiming for 4K 120 FPS and 8K 60 FPS. Which my is ass. what they already promised. Give me which... a break, Sony. Sigh. Rich, what's up, my man? Sending you all good vibes. Are you sure uh, it wasn't Nicolas Cage shooting by your house? Now I need 2P. <laughs> Listen, have an intro guy fart. Yeah, the Zen 2 cores are going to hold it back. It's good. Uh, uh, Blake, Blake, you know why Ape and Eric is talking about it? Well, maybe because allegedly him and Jay, their dicks touch tips. Can anyone verify this? I'm sure mo there's some of you who have been diehards on my stream. I'm pretty sure... That was a thing, but I'll still say alleged. How about you kiss my fucking ass? It's and simple. My views. Views. He's got more views on that video than he's gotten in like the past eight fucking years when he talks about me. And that's not me being egotistical. Go look. He Jay Jay's my friend. And I actually made a check for once. Yeah, I wonder why you have get can't get fucking views. You sound like a Cornish game hen getting strangled. Um, no, Jostler, thank you for not taking sides. You're not muted. You're right here, Baconator. Why do people always think I'm like? I I love when I see the comments too. I know I've given this speech before, and I'll get to you in a, in a, in a second. Uh, I got the Jostler. No, Jostler, you're, that's called being an adult. You didn't take sides until you wanted to hear the whole story. Um, fuck, now I actually lost. Yeah, like the whole thing with Ape and Eric, like, oh, yeah, he's my dude. You got more views on that that you've gotten like your entire, like, in, in, like the past literally probably eight years of the video. Maybe I think some other shit where he was talking about how video games made him gay popped off. What was I vague with? What was I vague with? How much more transparent? Do you want me to get naked and tell you the whole story again? Do you want me to play Vincent's demise? Jay's Vincent. Have you ever watched The Equalizer 3? Vincent. In Equalizer 3 was the Mafia boss. And he used his power in a situation in manipulation to keep himself insulated. He was a disingenuous bastard. But then the people How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? You blew it! Mike and Kat were better than Jay donated $10. When it was 3 kilobytes, Micker and Kat did most of the talking while Jay mostly stood there and said very little. Where, will we read that again? I'm sorry, I thought I had Streamlabs open. I actually listened to the other ones. That's why they got engaged with. I didn't hear that because I was being a melodramatic prick. Um... Why, why are you making such a big to-do about this, man? Come on now. Come on, boy. Uh, recent events, please. I'm such a great streamer. I don't... I mean, look, I think that there was good chemistry. Uh, Mike and Kat were better than Shay. I just read your... I just read your name now. Together, there was some good chemistry there with Jay. I'm not. I, I'm not just gonna shit on something for the sake of shitting on it. Okay. I unironically watched Three Kilobytes for a very long time. Yeah, he's gonna extradite me to Canada. Saw <laughs> so that too. But 
look, and I'm, I said the same thing about Melanie Mack when we were still friends. I remember thinking, I know why your career didn't take off. Your, you, your voice is just fucking chalk on a chalkboard. I'm not, dude. I was on the Low Cow podcast today. I put the I put the final nail in Jay's fucking live streaming career. Uh, so no, Jostler, that's called you were being mature and you wanted to hear the whole story. So Jay really paid twenty five hundred. Yeah, that's what he was okay with being paid. So it is what it is. You could disagree with the payment. That's what he agreed to being paid. You could like it, dislike it. If he wanted more, does from what we're seeing here, if he wanted more, would he have not said it? Come on. Uh, Rich, you are really too angry right now. This is a bad time to stream. I think I'm doing okay. I'm saying... I'm feeling pretty good, actually. <laughs> uh, no, it'll never be worked out. We will never be friends again. We will never. Once you try to damage the thing that I, I take care of my and support my children with, that's like firing a gun at me. That's a declaration of war. Will I do anything to him? No. Will I ever, you know, do anything backhanded? No. Let him spread your wings, Jay. Enjoy your career. When you fuck with my livelihood that supports my children. You stay my enemy. Yeah, never trust a single man with a cat. That's true. Yeah, dude, KP. This is healing. This wore me the fuck down, dude. This wore me down a lot. Jonathan. I still did the majority of the streaming. You guys could verify you were here. I'm not going to go count the fucking streams right now. Jay did some streams. Jay did some videos. You are correct. I still did the, the lion's share of it when my daughter was very sick. Not taking away that Jay put in work. But why do you think he also put in work? What would I have had to have done if the content wasn't being put up? Think about it. How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my balls? You know. DBZ King 119 donated $10. This whole situation is exhausting, and I'm hoping after this we can put it to bed. Oh, tuck yeah. Tuck it in and tuck kiss it, it good night. That Dude, being said, comparing Jay to the villain from Equalizer 3 is giving him too much credit. Tacoma wept ew. Oh, oh you're fucking savage. <laughs> Tacoma wept. Tacoma wept. Tacoma wept. <laughs> Why will I not let it go? I want to let it go. Hey, Ape and Eric, why don't you come on the show? We could talk about it. It doesn't have to be one-sided with your stupid fuck. I hope you enjoyed the more views than you've gotten in years. You piece of shit. Come on the show and talk about it, you bitch. So we can hear your disgusting voice. You're here. You could talk. I know you got the mic. Jay, use this channel. Some people are seeing it. Come on, 8-Bit Eric. Come on, White Knight. You're here now. You got the time. Come on the show. I ruined one career. Let me ruin another one. You're trying to hurt my fucking career, so come on the show. Let's see if I can go two for two today. Piece of shit. I'm waiting. 
You also tried to damage what I feed my kids with, not knowing the whole story. Going with your friend, you opportunistic, talentless bastard. Come on the show. Come on. I'll send you a fucking link now, bitch. Open it up, Zoom. You fucking clown. You talentless fucking clown. You want to put out shit that you don't know the whole story to and you make me look like a villain? Basically putting out lies and you're going to be here right now and walk away, you snake, you weasel, you fucking rat. Hope you have a day job. You suck at this, you fucking fake. You're my fucking bitch. Come kiss my ring. Anyway. Ask me how I feel about him. Fake ass motherfucker. No, nothing will be worked out ever. Yeah, you're right here. You talentless hack. Come on. You can't do anything else. You have the screen presence of a fucking half-dead snail. Come on here and talk. Doesn't matter if I'm sober or not. Probably being stoned is probably holding me back a little bit, unfortunately. You don't... You're another one. This puts food in my kids' mouths, too. Don't put, put the fat shit aside. This keeps a roof over their heads and you're putting out lies and half truths and you didn't know the whole story to benefit yourself and to for your butt fuck buddy. I knew you were stupid. You, you believe that Trump actually got the election stolen from him. You smooth brain asshole. Yeah, he'll be on in 20 minutes. Fuck you. Where'd you go? Where are you, buddy? Come on. Come on the show. Have a talk where I'm actually in your fucking face. Come on. You fucking hack. Melanie Mac won't fuck you, you fucking simp. Anyway. Man, your balls shrank, huh? He's gone. Oh, poor baby. Been in a coma for five months. <laughs> Life would probably be easier for a little while. Not that I want to do anything. Don't worry. I don't want to do anything to myself. <laughs> uh, isn't this something? Isn't this a family-friendly stream? Oh, I am upset. When you put out lies and misinformation... That affects my livelihood, which affects my kids. I'm going to have a lot to say to you. And I'm not shy. Jay said one thing, and he took it out of context. Breaking news. He said that, I just like when people hate me. No, I like when pieces of shit hate me. I don't like when... I don't, I don't want good people to hate me. I want people that are snakes to despise me. I want them to think about me when they're going to fucking sleep at night because they know I'll call them out on their bullshit. Why do I keep bringing up my kids? Because this feeds my kids. This supports my kids. This keeps a roof over their heads. And opportunistic snakes with no integrity took it and took the story and demonized me, which hurts my reputation, which hurts my livelihood. So I'm going to bring up my kids. And that's why I'm pretty emotional about it. And when I'm sober, I'm even more emotional about it. I'm very angry when people do that to me. And I'm not shy to tell them like it is. Go suck Donald Trump's dick, Eric. Uh, David, thank you for becoming a member.
I'm getting to all the super chats, bro. My apologies. I appreciate the fucking support tonight. Yeah, he's a fucking clout chasing talentless hack. Can I be a mod again? Yes, Mike Wells, you can be a mod again. You were a mod for years and you didn't do anything out of emotion. Like I said to you, don't take it. I, I did a mass unmodding where I clicked the button because people were getting up in their feel. Oh, he would. Ape it. Eric would be like. Uh, Eric, I'm going to put my tremendous spray tanned oily nuts in your mouth. Oh, I can make you. <laughs> he would be gargling them and he'd have brown around his lips. You want to know? He's a, I like Eric. He's a great guy, though. Uh, 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 <sighs> Jonathan, great job proving what a child you truly are. Uh, great job proving that your IQ is below 100. What is it like to be stupid? Can you ask me a question? Answer. I want to know what it's like to be dumb. I'm not. I'm not brilliant or anything. I'll be the first to admit. I've, I. I was talking to King Sly T, just having shooting the shit with him, and I'm like, How yeah, dude. Kiss my I'm not very bright sometimes. My balls. But you're actually dumb. DBZ King 119 donated ten dollars. One more thing I'll say on this: people Please. in the chat who are saying Rich is being hateful and angry, put yourself in his shores. How the hell would you react after people you once trusted were putting out lies about you? Yeah. Let the man have some time to vent. Yeah. Imagine. And I knew when I said this, we're going to watch the podcast. I promise I'm having a tough time right now between being stoned and emotional and answering super chats. Like imagine someone you're, he said to me, yeah, I kind of I extorted you. We were talking about the circle joke. Yeah, I admit it. I kind of extorted you. And then later in voice messages saying, no, I never said that. Why were you, why are you making up shit? He said I was making up shit. And here's the thing. He's actually pretty smart because right now to you, I don't have anything on paper. It's hearsay. I don't have a voice message. It's hearsay. You can technically say that I'm full of shit. Well played, Jay. Yeah, the one time where I had to be man enough or like if it's this is important enough to you, let me not mince his words and I'll get back to the super chats where we had to talk on the phone and I was distracted and I'm so stupid that I didn't catch this. That's when he says when he knows it's not being recorded. Yeah, I kind of admitted that I extorted you. Can't wait for that to be brought up in court, Jay. Is 8-Bit Eric here? I'm just, hey, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> so the thing is, I got to give Jay credit to the people that are here that hate me. They can go, Rich can't give receipts for that. And they will hold on to those pearls, that those pearls of reasonable doubt or plausible deniability as hard as they can rich can't prove it you got me jay i can't prove it because we talked on the phone and i didn't record your phone call and to all the assholes out there who said i leaked jay's dms when did that happen show me the receipt of that i only leaked my voice messages i left to him not a word out of his mouth nor, nor a text that he texted was ever released by me the only thing that ever happened like i said in the podcast which we'll watch one of these centuries shit i lost my train of thought goddamn weed I needed it tonight, though. What did I say? Please, could someone reset my train of thought? I'm sorry. And that's the thing. I can't show evidence. And he knows that. Because he made me call him. Oh, no. I'm beating the boom arm. Thank you for letting me know. Am I like, are you guys here in like thump, thump, thump? I'm sorry. That I'll say who said it. Duty, thank you.
Who the hell? Yeah, great job proving what a child you truly are. Uh, go take an IQ test. Uh, can I be a mod again, Dad? Yes, you can. You were around for about a year, right? I'm pretty sure. Rich, you missed a lot of super chats. Can I have my bod back? Yes, White Ink. I'm not just throwing mods around like confetti. I know the people that I am modding. Cody, Daddy, chill. Maybe play with your cucumber or something. Ah, I, I, I got laid. I'm fine. Uh, two things. The one to Jay, fucking marinate in it. Two, what happened with sexy Coco? I can't. I'm not going into it now. Uh, you still like you are you are the victim 100. percent No, I'm not. I should have never released that first Facebook post. That was. No matter what was said to me, as a person who does this, that was immature, and I even with what Jay could have said he was getting a hitman to come after me, I should have not put that Facebook post up. That was childish of me. Beyond that, he made private matters public to garner sympathy because he's a coward, and he doesn't trust his own talents because he's failed multiple times before. And he was going to use my career as a stepping stone and hurt my pockets to garner sympathy for himself. So fuck him to hell. Uh, Jack D. Whiskers, thank you for becoming a member. Um, Hufa, hole, maron. Uh, JD Whiskers was the last one. Where's that at? You know what? Uh, we're going to watch the podcast in a second. How long? I give him about like six months to a year. I have some people that I will not name for privacy reasons that are kind of just like keeping an eye and numbers are going down because he's engaging. He's he's this poster behind me. Literally, I'm not I'm almost not kidding. I kind of am, but not. Unfortunately, I could just keep the air on. I could go shit and go to sleep. You could stare at Nicolas Cage and that would be more entertaining than Jay can be on stream. By himself. He's a good co-host sometimes. He's a good co-host. But by himself, the cardboard of Nicolas Cage would be more engaging and fun. Jay is a good sidekick, but he can't hold down a stream by himself to save his fucking life. And what I... Oh, no. When people share photos, my butthole puckers... Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Eric, well played. Ru run and say, oh, man. Oh, man, he fell right into my trap. Make a video on it. Make a video on it so you look like an asshole. Please do. I'll go on your show. Hey, Eric, you know what? Come back on here. If you're willing to, I will shut down the stream right now and go on your stream. Come on. Let's go. I mean, I'll, I'll keep going. I'm not going to wait for him. Come leave, it, come leave a message. You don't have to leave a super chat. Say, yo, Rich, come on. Come on in. And I'll come on your stream. We could talk about it. Make that bank, bro. Come on. Show me how big your balls are. Uh, no, it's not leaking. But Jay and the Jay Hoof Defender Club. That was when I played them. Because he put me in the situation. Bloody G. How long before Jay would I answered that one, Kyle? Yeah, I give it six months to a year, realistically. Uh, is it really leaking? If it, no, it's not. Uh, there was uh, people who were the Jay White Knights and Jay himself. Oh, no, did Jay himself? No, Jay himself did not say it. I am not going to put out misinformation. But the Jay White Knights, when I showed the messages, which I knew was going to happen because they didn't want me to have, be in the right about something. Uh, what the fuck was I just saying? Damn, boy, I'm all over the place tonight. I'll get to your super chat in a second. Yeah, the stream is fucking crazy right now. No, I was wrong about letting my emotions put up that post. Yeah, Jay put me in the spot. Yes, where it was like he put up like this like vague message 
people in the commentary community, many people were like, yo, that's some female pussy. That's some female shit. I'll stop using the other word. Where he's like, Rich left me horrible messages. So if I didn't play the messages, I was fucked. Like, I think I said this very, very early on in the stream. If I didn't play the messages, I was fucked because then everyone's going to speculate that I said these absolutely god awful things to him. And then if I do leave play the messages, then I'm fucked because I'll look at Rich airing out his dirty laundry. And he knew that. He also thought by him putting out, uh, I'm gonna, I'm lawyering up that I wouldn't have went on the podcast today. How does my dick taste, Jay? You want some whipped cream on there to make the flavor a little more palatable? You could, I'll put my balls in it there. It'll be like a rich dick Sunday. Hey, wait, Jay extorted you. That's fucked up. Also, you're a fucking legend. Patrick, you've been a member for fucking 32 months, and you were around back in, like, 2017. Thank you, dude. So, Bloody GB, it's just to the people who don't want to hear it, who are pissed at me, yes, it's leaking. I don't know. I don't even know how you could compute that. Like, if Jay had messages in between, of course, I'm leaking shit. The only time I think I ever leaked it, or was there something with the quartering to prove a point? But it's all, that would be twice. The only other time I ever leaked one message was from the CEO of Intellivision when he told me, which I do need help. I need to see a therapist. Everyone says that to me. You know what? You're right. I admit it. But Tommy Tellerico was saying in a DM that I need to seek help. <laughs> Fucking Tommy! Come on! So yeah, he said I kind of it. I kind of extorted you that I admitted it on the podcast. He and he didn't say that in the podcast. He, someone kind of put him to task, but he did not use those words. I listened. Unless I'm missing it and, like, I fell asleep or something. You know. Rich Mod, Jay Fed, he's Jake's tr Jake, he's trustworthy. Okay. DBZ. Oh, damn, I forgot to turn off auto renew for two years. Perhaps I will forget for two more years or... Dude, you're fucking awesome. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> Who's Nerdy John? Who is Nerdy John? Remod me, Sword Lie. Is that the guy who did the podcast? He could come on. Oh. Rich, my super chat. Richard, I'm sorry. <laughs> that sounded... Richard, I'm sorry. Why? Hey, Rich, can I get a mod back? Yes, you can. It, uh, by the blue color, it looks like there's a good balance right now. Yeah. Sure, you could come on. Uh, Rich, you are awesome. You need a hug. I need a hug from breasts. Yes, I need breasts. Breasts. <laughs> oh, Dad needs to get laid again. Uh... Da Vinci's demons, yeah, I'll mod you. I know you too. I know, I know you not just by your name, but by your fucking, what is it called? Not thumbnail, whatever. I can't think right now. I, it'll be. I, I'm sure he's gonna try to get back at me too. Uh, if you think this is done, or no, he's gonna pretend to be doing the lawyer thing. Still waiting for Eight Bit Eric, man. I'll go on your show. Interesting. He's not back. Weird. Yes, because people, Kevin, I know you could be a mod. Um, people were getting in their emotions, couldn't have that. Um, Susha, did I miss your super chat? I'm sorry. I am like between, I guess, emotions and being stoned as hell right now. Man, I hit like a fucking freight train too. Because I was sober before. When I was on the podcast, you guys could tell I was sober as a fucking judge. Susha, where are you at, dude? Also, I want to. I do want to say I found Jay's streams boring most of the time. He streamed, I would maybe tune in for a bit, but when I watch something else, but you, with you, I watch the whole stream. I'm not trying to kiss your ass, just telling the truth. I hope I'm engaging. 
I mean, look, I even do that with streamers that I like. I watch Asmund Gold and stuff like that. Like, I'll tune in and I'll tune out because I'm like, I'm losing interest. Then I go back and they say something interesting. So, I'm not like, I always tell people, you owe me. I'm not saying that to fucking sound like a kiss ass. You owe me jack shit. My job is to entertain you. I always say this. This is, I'm sounding like Phil right now repeating a speech, but people already say I'm like Phil. So, here we go. I don't know Jedi psoriasis. Like, look, I, I, I'm sorry. You could be like, I'm not just modding people who are asking me. I know it seems like that, but I'm really not. Uh, Josh Jones, I'll find your first. I'm hearing of any of this, but I'll say this: friends using each other to lift themselves up is all fine and dandy, but someone who pulls you down just to give themselves a leg up is an enemy. No shit. We had we had a payment dispute at the end. Um. What's funny is someone who was tuning in that I will not name uh, said that Jay admitted in a po- the, the podcast that there was no actual like verbal agreement to a retainer. I forgot about that until that said person told me. So that's out the window. <laughs> a lot of Jay, Jay's Discord is calling him out for not joining. Jay. Man, hope it was worth it, dude. I made mistakes. I didn't handle this. I've handled this far from perfectly. But you did a speed run of your career. <laughs> He's probably panicking, fucking like trying to get my social security number to find shit. Uh, Black Jack Yak 54. Thank you for becoming a member. Okay. Yeah, it's the real rich. I don't take shit from people. Normalize femboys. I swear on my children, this is not fake for views. And I would not swear on my children. Because that's a very audacious claim to make. I loathe the man now. He tried to destroy me to garner sympathy views. He is an enemy. Leave him the fuck alone. It doesn't matter how I feel. I, I know I'm repeating myself and it's getting obnoxious, but please leave him the fuck alone. For Christ's sake, leave him alone. He's, he wants to sue me over hurt feelings. He's a sensitive man. Uh, my super cat and stream labs. Relaxed peg anus. I'll look up the stream labs now. Did you skip my most recent super? He's now salty at this because we are being a mole and showing you screenshots. <laughs> Dude. Jay, why did you do this? I'm not saying I didn't fuck up, but why? Was it worth it? You got greedy, dude. That's what happened. You got greedy. You, you tried to milk the sympathy udder too much. And all that was left was powdered milk. Uh, I have my issues with how you did things. Oh, and please, please get a shrink. I agree. I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Yes, I need a shrink. Absolutely. Especially with after happened my daughter, I am fucked up in the head. You want me to, I, I'm not even getting defensive. It's true. Yeah. Hey, hey, bit. get out of the fucking discord. I'll go on your channel, dude. Come on. Uh, on his part, and honestly, I would rather listen to a moody prick than a phony, boring snake. Oh, shit. You roasted both of us, and I still love it. Oh, God. Nah, dude. You're right. I, I have to admit, because I'm no, then I'll be no better than I, I do need help. Cycle. I've, I have. I have more issues now. I've always had issues, I'll admit it. I, I have more issues now, especially after the events that happen. And it does reflect in things. Choices I have made recently were not because of that. 
but I know it has affected me. You guys have seen it, I think. You know? Uh, oh, did I block him on Twitter? Let me look him up. If I blocked him on Twitter, yeah, because he's a fucking snake. I'll unblock him. Where is 8-Bit Eric? All right, you are unblocked, my friend. You come on my show for five minutes. You come on. Here. I've already lost enough fucking money because of you clowns. Like, really? Like, you think Keemstar is going to ask me tough questions, too? Like, he's going to act like he owes me anything? Get real. He had no hat in the ring with either me of anything. People think he dislikes me. You know what I'm saying? So there. There's a link. I need to make up for uh, lost time because of you fucking buffoons. I'll see you in, I'll see you in uh, Zoom. Let there be Snort Hogan videos up. Uh, I'm high and just want to say Jay left Jay's I want to say just left Jay's channel. Screw that Discord and all its notifications. Mod me in two months. No, I'll mod you now. You're a pain in the ass, but you're not. You don't get up and feel... No, you don't. Oh, Burt, man. Hi, Burt, man. You need to watch the Low Cow podcast with my segment about Jay. We're waiting for an 8-bit Eric. Nah, my dude, you already cost me money. Come on my fucking show. You got five minutes. If you're sitting there crying like a bitch at a Discord, I know you got the mic. You make you were fucking running your ass to the mic and camera to make a video about me. Come on. No, but he'll make a video about it, though. He won't talk in real time about it. I even offered to go on his show, but he'll make a video on it. Actions speak louder than words. Um, you haven't been well. Oh, shit, I haven't seen it. Where did it go? You haven't been well for a while. Admitting you need help is great, but only if you follow through. Hope you realize that. I'm tapping out. Cheers. Tickle Burrito. I will see you when I see you. I think that's a final tap out. It is what it is, man. Like I said, I know that there are people's minds that are made up. Uh, I want to be a mod. I'm going to hold off on mods. I'm not 100% sure of your name. Anyway, I think I caught up on Super Chats. Thank you so much, guys. No, I swear on my children, it's not a shtick between Jay and I. This is as real as it gets, bro, when it comes to this shit. No bullshit. Um, so, who... Oh, go away, Vegas. You've caused me so much hell today. Let me see. Yeah, so shockingly, he hasn't answered. Give me a fucking break. All right, Pescatora. All right, we'll watch Duties. It's unedited. It, we know Pescatora, I think, sent it to me, too. Let me put it over here. We don't have to worry about the ads. Every time someone sends me a photo, I'm going to cringe. Oh, God. What a fucking tiring shit show. Uh, I already left a while, but I'm wondering what happened with Minxie. I'll probably keep watching you and her, but there needs to be peace. There is peace. Minxie, you don't have to worry about me. I ain't going to do anything. I'm not going to be vindictive in any way. But you also did quite a bit of damage without knowing the full truth. 
I won't be friends with you again, but will I do anything harmful to you? Never. Uh, thank you for being a great streamer. I've been watching for maybe three or four years. Thank you so much for sticking around through my turmoil. I don't always agree with you, which, I, gee, I wonder why, but I love your honesty. If you ever need a good moderator, I'm here for you. Keep telling the truth. I think I tell the truth. I, 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 I That sounds weird to say. Like, I just... I tell what I feel is the truth. Does that make sense? You gifted memberships? Dude, I'm sorry. I didn't even see it, bro. Thank you. How many memberships did you gift? Why am I not seeing it? Black Sheep, thank you for gifting 10 memberships, man. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. Shout out to uh, Duty. We could watch this intro. It includes me. I am sure because of this situation for months, if not years to come, I am going to be considered by many to be a locale. I accept that fate and that is fine. Get that ass back. Uh, it's because it's your constant mood swings and picking fights on Twitter and flip-flopping on the main channel. It's just too much. All right, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate your honesty. Uh, hope you tune in for that video that I made, though, because that kind of proves what I'm changing and it kind of ties into your super chat. Does that make sense? I'm going to change the screen. My apologies. I'm sorry. Watch that. I know I need to ease up on Twitter after this, too. You're right. I would be a liar if, you, if I said you were wrong. That would just be my pride getting in the way. But this video I worked on... I'm not going to overhype it. Shout out to Art. I talked to him on Twitter. He's like, just chill with the overhyping. And he's right. I'm proud of it, though. I will say that. Did I change the screen? Let me check. I think I did. Yes. Ooh, it's dark. No, that's just my monitor. gear <laughs> oh god he's gonna pull the 8-bit eric's gonna pull the quartering instead of coming on the screen he's gonna post it publicly uh it, it's that show yeah remember I, how i said he's smooth brained uh yeah it's called i could just shut down zoom you fucking idiot <laughs> really tell all right so here i'm shutting down zoom then if he messages me and wants to actually do it, I'll send another link. You fucking degenerate. <laughs> I, I can't do the echo because every time I talk, I hear my voice again. Oh, I know. I've never actually seen Rich do any yeah. tech reviews. No, no, man. Never. I never do tech reviews ever. Um, how's this now? Testing. Better? Yeah, I'm not here. He said this echo. Nope. I can still yeah, hear it. I hear it. Now I hear it. Now I hear it. Really? Testing. Nah, dude. Wait, everyone be I quiet. Everyone here. be quiet. Testing. Perfect. I, I'm not talking about that now. Do, uh, Venom Snake. I'm not a, a, a school principal. Like, I, I'm not. I, did, I made a choice. That's it. Let's move along. All right. Good, 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 good. Can you hear me, though? Am I getting all choppy? Nope, you're fine. So, okay, okay let's bring it back to uh, you fired mm -hmm. your editor, and mm -hmm. we brought you on the show, asked you if there was a problem. You said there was no problem, and then, surprise, there was a big beef between... Oh, there's a there's another thing, too. Now, everyone was saying I was being fake with that. No, it's called that you keep your, your dirty laundry, <laughs> or your shop talk behind closed doors. 
I love how people said I was two faced for that. No, that do you do you think that everyone wants to have a fucking makeout session who works together? What planet are you on? You and your editor. What happened? Well, Amber Hurts turned up. We'll get to them. I'm sorry, but dude. I got inundated tonight and trying to tell stories and. So what did what did I miss? Amber Hurts turned before. Behind on me. Answer the other three super chats, please. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Like I, I'm not doing it on purpose. It's just. Where is more Amber Heard's turd? Uh, uh, oh, man. I'm not seeing it. I'm, I'm looking to and I'm like intensely looking to see. Uh, are we going to ignore the fact that DSP called out Jay? No, I, I know it. That one I did answer before. I did answer that before. No, and he was actually on point. And I think I even remember saying, like, you know how if you watch too much DSP, I watch too much DSP, like you could tell when he's bullshitting and when he's not. He seems like he was telling the truth about the Jay situation. And that's not just because I hate Jay. It's just like if he seemed like he was fake about Jay, I'd be like, all right, you're lying about Jay, dude. Hey, let's let let's start from the beginning. I'll still make a cliff notes, don't worry. Um, it started with the fact that I did a video where I circumvented him where I wanted to do change to my channel. I have a video in the pike line, it's done. Changes are coming. It's done. Anyway. So I was literally on the toilet yeah. one day taking a shit. Cause I knew if I made that video and sent it to Jay. If I mentioned this before, fine. If I didn't, whatever. Um, he would have been like, don't post this. Don't post this. You're going to regret it. There's going to be a bunch of news. And I'm like, no, dude, I don't want to make news the primary fucking focus anymore. I'm done. And I know you were going to do that. And I, he, he admitted it. I'm like, if I sent you that video, would you have tried to stop me from posting it? He said, yes. You could, you could ask him if you think I'm full of shit. And it's been something I've been mulling over for a while because I we're not doing the same shit on my channel anymore. And I was just Which like, Jay, I, I, I had to do it like a light switch. I'll explain why in a minute. I'm he do, tickled burrito. You're right. He does lie about shit. But when you watch enough Phil, duty, are you here? Can you back me up on this? You can tell when by Phil's, this is sad that I know this, like I said, by Phil's body language, and his like voice inflection. Like, you know when Phil's lying and when Phil's telling the truth. It's weird that I know this. I'm not saying I'm like a lie detector expert expert or whatever. But yeah, Phil honestly looked confused. I don't know what else to say. If it was someone I actually like liked, I would say the same thing. You know what I mean? I never dislike Phil. I just think he's a dumbass. I've always said that, Ray. I'm like, we just got to part ways, dude. It, it, it's... This isn't it. Like, no, DSP lies all the fucking time. But there's also times that he doesn't lie, and you can kind of tell if you watch too much Phil. For the people that watch too much Phil, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like... I'm not making as many videos as I used to. Like, I don't, I don't need you. Like, I, there's nothing else I, I don't want, look, listen, there is no issue with Google Fish. It's just now is not the time to talk about it. Maybe not even this evening. Oh, Boogie, you're just getting the clip about Phil. I wanted you to watch it during the podcast. It's a banger. I think Phil's telling the truth. I'll mention his name because I sent them the clip about Phil. Because I know when Phil's lying, I'm like, Phil's, I am fat and look like Santa Claus anyway. And again, man, I ain't being partial if it was Jay. If it was like intro guy who's like my brother. <laughs> I would still be like, no, no, Jason, Matt, or you seem kind of sus. It looks like Phil's telling the truth about you. 
Just saying. And I know Phil, unfortunately, better than I should. I could say it's like you when you were talking about the guy who was Josh Jones. Let me get to your. I'll hit you up your super chat right now, dude. I'm sorry. Like I said, I got I got inundated in between the storytelling and the marijuana. Uh, <laughs> it kind of I, I kind of got discombobulated. I think honestly, if I was with all the support tonight, which has been fucking amazing, I thank you guys. Uh, I still would have gotten discombobulated. Why am I not see? See, this is where if they had a little search thing right here, it would be much easier to find them. Dude, I'm savage to people that deserve to be savage too. I'm not saying I'm an angel. I know I could be a fucking asshole sometimes too. I know. But it's way up there, huh? Ooh, boo, 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 boo. I'll look for like another minute, dude. I don't want to hold every Josh Jones work beef sus, especially when it gets personal trust. Oh, yeah, with what you definitely know. I forgot you. Yeah, with the shit you're going through, continue to let it out. You'll be fine. Always here if you need to vent. I have to end it after this. It's not me pulling a boogie where I'm going to. I have to. I don't have any reason to keep going. Like, why? Was doing all the clips and stuff like that it it's not that he was screwing up it's just that it times have changed so he's like all right i need my payment and he said to me the price and i was like we've barely done anything this month it, no you'll get this not that all right josh I'll now check it out dude payment disputes happen all the time i'm sure you know but the banger to it and what I was stupid. I left a Facebook message and shoot. No, the tr dude, the drama is done. Listen, if you think that no one else has payment disputes behind the scenes, you're out of your mind. If you think it's a childish thing, I, I don't know how old you are, but buckle up. Uh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to think about Jay after this. I don't want to. I don't like. Don't send me messages. I don't want to know. I don't want to know if he's like, all right, I've talked to 16 lawyers. I don't want to know if he has like an expose video on me. I don't give a shit. Now I'm, I have to go back on my own lane. I'm recording Elden Ring footage. I want to do another few more touch-ups to that video. I'm done. I have to be done. For my own sanity, I have to. For my own mental health, I have to be done. For fuck's sake. I, Rich, it's kind of petty doing a victory lap. You're fucking right, and I love it. Okay. Yeah, I wonder why I made the choice I made. No shit. No fucking shit. Shouldn't have done it. It was when he said... <laughs> like, I don't... Hear, like, thank you, person. I see things. I hear things. You know it takes a lot for me to block someone. I'm a flawed fuck who's mentally unstable. I agree. I literally am going to call to find a therapist tomorrow. I also swear on my kids with that one. But it takes a lot for me to block somebody. That is all I will say. Fuck him. Uh, yo, everyone chill. Everyone on YouTube is talking about his drama. So I like I was actually involved in the drama. Paul talk about it. it's okay, Rich. Do your thing. Yeah. Why isn't Jay talking about this? All of a sudden he's loyal. Yeah. He he already said he got legal. And now he's now he's going for legal advice, huh? Hmm. Another white lie there, Jay. I thought you already had representation. Now you're looking for it. Hmm. This is the same guy once again, and you guys were here for a lot of streams and he was on, where he said that people were too sensitive on YouTube. <laughs> it 
Am I wrong? Yeah. I think so. I won't say that out loud because people will be like, that's a bold claim to make. Yep. Anyway, I, I know I'm being vague right now, but I have to be. Anyway. If you don't pay me, I'm, I'm just going to expose you. I'm like, yeah, okay, listen. First of all, when I have uh, a payment uh, dispute with my editor, I bring that mother... There's a reason I'll talk about later. I don't need a psychopath on me. They're unfollowed. They will be handled, and eventually that will happen. Let things die down first. To person. There's a way to... Sometimes... This coming from me is going to sound very ironic and like I have no self-awareness. Being impulsive is not always the right thing to do. Yes, I did say that. <laughs> oh, God. Fucker live on the show. I know. I may have to do like a final scrub before I end the stream. And we talk yeah. it out. Yeah. So it's not it just so it's not just me and Connor having this debate, right? But the audience You make there. it public. I make it public. Yeah. So there's I, I was gonna keep the shit private. Mostly. Yeah, but that's but that's dumb. You should have invited him on and said, Hey, let's talk about this publicly. Mm. That way we that. I'm still kind of weird with that. Like, hey guys, you decide how much you decide how much it's like a fucking gladiator match for how much someone should get paid. I don't know. Maybe I'm Keemstar has more money than me. So it, there's that. So uh, maybe I'll just put tape on my mouth and shut the fuck up. He can uh, come. Well, why not? Why not? Because that, that's shop talk, dude. Yeah. Have the shop talk with the audience. And then the audience is going to tell you either rich you're being uh, a scumbag by not paying this dude. Or, Rich, you're right. The editor really didn't Kim work Jung this Brunel. month. Why should you pay him the full amount? The audience yeah. is going to make the decision for you. Mm, but we're the... We employed... Yeah, I mean, I get what he's saying a small degree, but... Like, I didn't even want to say how much I paid Jay. Not because I'm, like, bothered by it or think I I should be bothered by it. It's like... It's like that's like a number one social etiquette rule in the states is you don't talk about salaries. I, maybe that's is that the way around the world? I'm, I know I sound ignorant right now, but uh, the people do it. People that's not bullshit at all. It's considered rude in the states, at least where I'm from, to ask people salaries. are going to relate to the person that got laid off that doesn't matter then if you lose you, you lose pay him then. Yeah, it's <laughs> if you yeah. lose you lose oh i've, I've lost, lost. Pay i've guys. lost yeah. but yeah burt man it's almost like i'm running a fucking business or something uh, we'll watch that too duty uh, we'll watch that too in italy it's the same in china it will straight up ask you how much you make i think it's private in the west and yeah in the states at least I'm sure up in uh, where the Canadian Canadian Queen lives, it's the same thing. Like that's a big no no. Doesn't matter how much or how little you're making. It's like, you know, it's considered we're in our culture. It sounds weird to say, but it's true. It's considered disrespectful. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna call tomorrow, dude. I know I need it. Like, between, like, I'm not talking because of this, but I'm saying other traumatic life events and just in general. Google Fish, you are absolutely fine. You are perfectly okay. I'm hammered too on marijuana. Yeah, Burt, man. Yeah, thank you. In, t in American culture, it's considered a no-no. You know? It might be. Yeah. There's, there's more, to, there, there's more to, to get into, though. So, no, I take edibles. These motherfuckers, man. This thing. 
I went from, I was sober here, but I went from like this, I took one and I was like, ah, oh. actually I'm kind of, it's weird. Sometimes weed I'll admit can amplify my anger, but I would say that's like 40% of the time, 60% of the time it suppresses it. As much as I enraged tonight, if I was sober, the, my, my monitors probably would have been broken from screaming. And it's like, Rich, I thought you said you were happy. Yeah, yeah. It's like a vent. Like, I'm venting, too, though. Like, I'm letting the poison out. I, I know that sounds melodramatic, but that's the only thing I could think of right now. Uh, not talking about salaries is just so employers can pay certain people less and get away with it. They don't want comp Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> Let's keep it real. He's, he probably has a point. That's probably why it became culturally, uh, what is it, unacceptable in the States. That's employers probably made that culture happen. Whatever, the Facebook messages, and then I see fucking videos all over about the Facebook messages, okay? So, wonder who that was. Needless to say, I, I, I turn around later, I was... I talked to Jay while I was driving and I got like emotional over various other shit not to do with that. And uh, this is where uh, Tommy calls me a pussy. Yeah, thank you. I'm gay. Um, <laughs> you know, he's, oh, Rich, that's gay. You know, it was funny. I'll say one thing I said to Jay. I won't say anything he said. I feel like uh, everyone is out to get me. No, everyone's not out to get me. Not at all. That's it, it, I, I do get paranoid with what I do. But I let my guard down, and at one time I was actually right. Isn't that ironic, huh? And so we came to an agreement, but then the th like I started to sit there and things stewed because I'm like, wait a second, man, I just got played. Um, so I left him DMs, nothing, voice messages that I left, nothing else. It wasn't public. It wasn't any. Yeah. And everyone who was saying I was being two faced, I was just not wanting to air out anything else. Look, I remember what I was saying. Jay's great, great editor, wish him the best. Until shit went more south where he put out like this shit, what was I saying publicly? Was I shitting on him at that point? You guys saw. The streams are still up. I didn't delete anything. Yeah. I'm trying to see what's Anywhere going on else, here. it was behind the scenes. He goes like a 16-year-old girl on Twitter. I don't know if it was a pin post, but it was a top post saying, Rich left me these horrendous messages. I don't know what the hell to do. Or <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he did, man. Something along those lines. I'm like, <laughs> dude, we were talking. Why would you do that? No, I know that was. But the reason I got angry with those Facebook messages was even with the Facebook messages, obviously you knew who I was talking about, but I don't think I had the name. No, I'm not too high that I didn't forget this. I talked about it before. I did that because he threat. He said in a voice message that he deleted that he threatened to expose me. I'm going to expose you for what? And I lost my shit. No, I didn't. I wasn't too high to forget that. Uh, whenever you are a leader in any way, you will have people who will want to take things from you, but you have us behind you, Rich. You should rest easy. And I, dude, like, I appreciate that shit, man. Yeah, why would he delete it? That was always weird with me. He's like, you want me to bring back the messages? I'm like, dude, it doesn't matter any. Well, actually, I kind of wish he did, but I wouldn't play him. I can't play him to you. Like, again, look at me just releasing my voice messages to him and nothing else. I did not leak a DM. Look at the damage. People were like, oh, look at him leaking DMs. Imagine I actually played one of his messages. I'd have a fucking hit out on me. I'm not trying to play the victim. But people were already saying I was leaking his DMs. Imagine I actually did. Come on. And, he, in the, and now, so I'm fucked if I do. Fucked if I don't, okay? So if I don't 
release the messages, which no DMs from him were released. It was just me giving him a monologue. If I don't release them, people are going to think I took out like a fucking contract hit on him. Right. And if I do, they're going to be. Thank you very much, Doom Deer. I appreciate it. Be like, why are you leaking DMs, bro? I'm like, I didn't. They're, it's me talking. It's like Did you have I, him on a retainer? I had him on a verbal retainer. <laughs> so you, you're just not a man of let your me, word. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> oh, no, that's not true. Let that's not you, true. Let, yeah, it's, not legal, it's not illegal, though. <laughs> but wait, someone came through, you'll see. Where they watched Jay on another that podcast, the Circle Jerk podcast. I forgot something that he remembered. Watch, you'll see that here. Can, can, That's we, not, can, can we try to get some context here? How much was the editor making per month? I'm not going to give that away. Why? Because it's not to talk about. Like, but there's like how here's much were the you paying him? I all right. I was paying him twenty five hundred a month. Okay, twenty five hundred a month. And it used to be two thousand. It went up to twenty five. If I'm being fully transparent, again, that's what he agreed to. Month. All right. You mm. stop. You stop needing him because you're not even using an editor anymore. Yeah, not. Re I really, I really was. Really and so you tell him, hey, look, man, I just, I, I, I'm not doing this anymore. We're, we're not using you anymore. I believe you, man. Uh, Here's the thing, though. He wanted. Uh, he ended up getting more people were saying it wasn't fine. I don't know. It doesn't matter if it was fine or not. Jay was fine with it. Do you, again, like I said, probably 17 times before, as we see, do you think if Jay was not fine with it, he wouldn't have expressed it to me? Or in the end. Yeah. I, I mean, it, I mean, it is what it is. Whether you people, Burtman, whether you think it's a good salary or bad salary or whatever, he was fine with it, and that's all that matters. And he's not a man who's shy to say anything that if, he's, if he wasn't fine with it, Jay would have let me know. And I think he wanted 3275 because he did some live streams. 3275 bucks. How yeah, think do the math how much it is a year. How much content? How, I mean, now I'm uploading more. We were barely uploading anything. It's not even feasible. It's not like I'm Linus Tech Tips putting out videos that only uh, also get millions of views, but I'm putting out these high production value videos every day with big juicy sponsors. Much, you know what I mean? <sighs> Rich, can I be a mod again? I was a mod, a uh, standard mod, yes. Yeah, he refused to clip my streams. He said my streams were, what did he say? Rambling or whatever. It's funny, like I said, though, but like detractor channels, not, I'm not saying duty, but I'm just uh, saying detractor channels can do it in minutes. It's weird. And they don't get either they're, either they're just making ad revenue or they don't get paid at all. But someone making a money... Whatever you think of their salary, couldn't do it. Weird. All right, Niner boy. There you go. I know I said before I make you a standard bond. I almost forgot. It's like 20. Look, I don't know. Like, he was happy with the salary. Whether it's good, whether it's bad in Canada, I don't know. Some are saying it's terrible. Some are saying it's fine. Some are saying it's good. I don't know. He was happy with it. That's all that mattered. How much editing was he doing? Not that much! <laughs> you see what I'm One thing I didn't say here, because I want to be fully transparent. Jay also did things like he set up the shop, admittedly. He did do that. Um, he edited my ads, but he got paid for that. Uh, he got paid extra on top of what he made monthly trying to think some other shit because i like and he was reliable he was reliable but i just didn't need him anymore and i want to and, and i knew like i said before th if i went to him he would have tried to convince me to just keep staying the fucking boring course because it's safe and i would have listened 
I know I'm still doing news, but I'm experimenting like a motherfucker. I had an excellent chat with another YouTuber last night and learned so much stuff from this person. I'm going to start working on that after I do this big video. And that's why I did it so quick, because I knew any other way he would have begged me, which he did, he did again. Tell me you didn't ask to just run the main channel, Jay. I fucking defy you. Uh, yeah, never thought, and be on my side, too. Like, that's the thing. Keem, he has no, no hat in this ring. He, he, he used to hate me. I don't know if he still does. And he doesn't really know Jay, so what the fuck? Yeah, he made money other ways, too. I forgot. Good point. He was okay, man. That ch church he's living in, too, is nice inside. Like, he's living comfortably. He's buying expensive replica Zelda swords. He... he, he there. If it's kind of irrelevant, though, yeah, I don't want to retain her. But here, but here is the thing. Yeah, I know I'm good fodder for low cow. I'm okay with that. I know there's many people for quite a long time and maybe permanently that may consider me a low cow because of this situation. And hey, you know what? The money is still green. Um, man, if he really wanted to make more, he should have branched out. I think he did. Someone was just saying that. Because I had to get my run in. Congrats on your spectacular ass-kicking truth session today. Like, yeah, what is he going to say? Like, he's probably, like, frantically right now trying to find dirt on me or something. I guarantee you that's what he's doing. He's fucking... He's probably looking under any, every rock right now. He's looking under rocks outside his church. Uh, man, if he really wanted to make more, he should have branched out. So, like I said, to think he did. Is it fair? The deal with that kind of work, is it fair? Probably not. That's how it goes. What do you mean? Like, but he did branch out. He was sent that Zelda sword? Ah, uh, okay. I take it back. Don't want to put up misinformation. If he was sent the sword, he didn't spend the money on the sword. Uh, Niner Boy Skylar Locker, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that. You could go into the semantics if it's a retainer, <laughs> if it's a not a retainer. You brought up semantics. You said it was verbal. <laughs> but where is anything I'm saying bullshit? I defy you to say anything I'm saying is bullshit. No, no, no. Let me finish what I'm saying. No, wait. Hold when on. You have <laughs> see, see, duty's in the know. Did he buy the sword or did he not buy the sword? Streamlabs, I'm sorry. I'll get to it in a second. Relax, Peg Danis. Jay bought the cell. He bought the fucking sword. And again. I'm going to bring up the Phil analogy, okay? One thing that bothered me here, too, about Jay, since we're just... Someone else I know. Everyone's chiming in now. He bought a whole bunch of new, very expensive cameras and stuff, which ain't my fucking business. However, when you're decrying poor for barely doing any work when I let you go, and I let you go the way I did because I knew you'd beg to come back, and you did. And then you're buying very expensive replica swords of your favorite video game. It's kind of like Phil with WWE champions. Not saying you're addicted to Zelda swords, but you got my point. Dude, he's not looking for dirt. He tried to end it and you wouldn't. Oh, shut the fuck up and go away. Thank you for 18 months. I proved him fucking wrong. Cry. Go suck his dick. I have problems with someone. You keep it behind the scenes. The only thing I fuck. let out. G McFly, let me see that. Yeah, Keem is about to... You think I'm savage for this and hate me? Uh, wait till you hear what Keem... St Keem starts more savage than me. G McFly, where you at, dude? I'm sorry. Like I said, I know I'm not going to change mine. So if I... If you still don't like... If you like Jay's narrative and you don't like what you heard... I'm not changing. You're not changing. There's the door. Uh, 
G McFly. They're so I'm not trying to downplay your super chat. I appreciate you. I, I just I can't keep the stream hold held up this long. I wish YouTube had like a search engine like where I could type in here, but it doesn't. And I'm genuinely sorry. Oh, that, you're stupid. Bro. Fuck that, bro. If I'm working with one of my employees and they're sitting there threatening me and they're going to go public and they're going to go there. Why do you think the, I'm here? That's why thing. I'm here. God, my breasts look large there. They got to shrink. Yeah. Rich, the first thing I'm doing is going live on a live stream saying, hey, I have this editor. I was paying him $2,500 a month. Now, I don't need an editor anymore. So I told him we'd part ways and I paid him for about half the month. And now he's threatened to. Not even. Here's the thing. 2000 that was over half well yeah over half the month he got to expose me so i figured i would just tell everyone cheem, i'll cheem, expose cheem, myself cheem, cheem. <laughs> yeah i hate watching myself it's like hey guys watch me jerk off to myself it's weird but i understand why we're doing it do you see what my oh, there is a lot of people who are my fans who look at me like i'm a monster because i did that what would me live streaming do i would which is, that is true. <laughs> Tell them, I would say, hey, and to all my fans that think I'm a monster for going public about this, well, you're not really my fan. I'm not stroking myself. It's just, it's just it's what happened. It is what it is. What am I going to do? Would you like me to put a black screen where I am? <laughs> because if you were my real fans, you'd want to know. That Mare do mama. It's good to see people here, man. Google fish, you're good. If we don't talk tonight, we will talk probably tomorrow. That is true. Behind the scenes. That is true. And that's why I'm here now. And that's why I you even know? took fucking notes so I don't forget anything. I did, and I still forgot something. Shout out to anonymous person who came in in the clutch to save my ass with something I forgot. Now I mean, look, he... that kind of like, it literally saved me. Because that was the thing that Tommy said that, hey, you were under a verbal agreement. Glad to see you don't, you're not a man of your word. Some, a banger happens here. Dude, you know what I'm talking about. At the end of the day, Rich, I will say, having, uh, you know, trying to be very careful in oh, my past. Hold like, on. Someone who ahead, hold on, pause, pause, pause. Someone. Go ahead. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. This was important. That's why I feel, I feel bad cutting off Boogie. But here we go. Who I know is messaging me right now. Uh, he admitted this on, I think, that circle jerk. He didn't honor the retainer either. He accepted different amounts, and that's true. I forgot about that. Thank you, person who I won't say, who's listening to LolCal Live. He actually, yeah, he got varying amounts and was cool with it. So that's the thing. So all of a sudden now, and he's sitting there on the phone with me saying, I don't even know how I'm going to afford things. And then, which it doesn't matter. Everyone's money is everyone's money. But when you... G McFly, I know you. You could get a mod. Here you go. I'm sorry I missed it before. I did not. Like, I'm not trying to miss any super chats here. I will tell some people to fuck off, but. Say something like that, and then I see you buying computer parts, and you're making it like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get Jay was... here. J Editor, get here. Cause Jay, please come. Please. Stop pretending you're hiding behind a lawyer. And even if you are, please, please sue me. Please sue me. I want the publicity. Please sue me. Sue the fuck out of me. It'll never happen, but please do. Why didn't you? You could have aired out every one of your grievances and made me look so bad. You couldn't have. But you couldn't have. That's why. That's why. That's why 8-Bit Eric is acting like a fucking child and was going to send out my Zoom link and he's not smart enough to know you could just shut down Zoom. That's incredible. I can't get over that. I got advice for you. I got advice for Rich. I uh, would love him here. I would love him get here. Get him here. Yeah, get I him just here. Re him. Can I go over like, more? Like, I literally took notes down to make sure I dot my eyes let, and cross Let my it teams. roll, bro. Let it roll, bro. I love this. Okay. Because, yeah. Yeah. I got a Choices that I have made, I have gotten confirmation from places were smart choices. That's all I'll say. A lot of things to say on this. Go ahead. Okay. So essentially he threatens to blackmail. He's like, look, if you, I'm going to come out and expose you. Oh, yeah. Well, he's going to show. <laughs> Imagine the court case somehow in an unimaginable way goes through and he shows up looking like fucking Onision. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
comes in like a fucking bulletproof vest and a fucking. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh please wait, dude. I will. You, you'll make me a millionaire. I'll go bankrupt initially, but you'll make me a millionaire in the long run. Please do. Sue me. Please. You if we don't settle a payment dispute, which again, just like it happens, like yeah, he'll have to leak all those messages in court. That's the f it happens all the fucking time, not just in here, anywhere. Okay, if he didn't threaten me, it would have just been like we probably would have been back and forth. And you know what? It would have whatever would have happened would have happened. And that would have been it. Yeah, it would have been settled. But you threatened me, and I lost. I got impulsive, like I said before. Shocker. Uh, yeah, th that therapy, Rich, is a good idea. Um, and I lost my. I didn't say his name, but it was obvious who it was. I think I didn't say his name in those Facebook messages. And I was like, yeah, it's private here, which I'm a fucking idiot. Nothing on the internet is private. Nothing. Ever. And I was so dumb for posting them. But the other shit that transpired? Fuck off in rotten hell. Okay. So then I left him those private messages, like I said, because I, I kind of thought about it and I was still pissed off. And then he did the whole thing where I had to play the messages because he made it like I left him the worst messages in the world. Uh, yeah, that was such an awkward situation. I hate him for that, too. I hated him before. I loathed him after that. Because either way, I looked bad. And he knew that. I don't really understand why people would consider that leaking when nothing on his part was said. It was simply me, no pun intended, exposing myself. But when you're looking for a reason to hate me, you're looking. You're just like, how can I hate Rich today? Let's see. Ah. Um, what? I yeah, I sent the messages. He said that the funniest thing is he went on that little Circle Jerk podcast. Remember, didn't you guys invite him to come on here? He said he wouldn't do it. Yeah, I don't know why. And then he went on a smaller podcast while he sounded like he was dying of COVID. He had COVID. And he was, yeah. he, I, I thought he was Barry White on the fucking podcast. And Wings is here. Shout out to Wings, you sexy fucking bastard. <laughs> Two of the sexiest men together right now. Hope Wings, dude, I, I posted because I'm about to throw this fucking computer out the window. Where you say, I can't do this, I can't take this shit no more. People actually like that tweet, because that's basically what my computer is doing right now. It's slamming down the controller and begging me to stop pumping 4K footage into it. And I'm like, wait, I thought you wouldn't go on a podcast. Like, what's the deal? Like, why are you going on this small? Is it because you don't want as many eyes on it? Hmm. Interesting. Got, uh, real quick, I just want to say shout out to all of our members, because over the last... What up, pimp? Last, like... Two yeah, so I didn't want you to think I was like, it was just funny. It basically fit what my computer was doing perfectly. Weeks, we've gained like 100 new members. You guys are fucking legends. And at some point in roughly about 10 minutes, I'm going to put on members only chat just to, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, everyone else who's not a member, but we got to say thanks to them. Give them their time to shine. Continue, Rich. Go ahead. My accountant's working on my taxes. No, no, no. I'm their only client, so it gets... I file my taxes every year. Not a problem, man. I, I think that's great for you. Um, so again, I play. He was all, he's like I said, he was beyond the drama. Put me on a retainer for bedless bump cookies and <laughs> denim shorts. Dude, listen, and scratch your cock while you're eating a cookie because you're getting a boner thinking that you're about to bang a 13-year-old. That's literally what happened in that, uh. on that To Catch a Predator episode. They caught him on one of the security cameras and he was scratching his junk because he was probably getting a half chub. And bad Amber Heard, sir, please. Do I have that on here still? Wings, I don't know if you're still here, but that's the funniest fucking shit you ever said. You said with a stone cold straight face for one of your mods to ban Amber Heard's turd. It's it's a classic. I'm a, um, I then I like, look, I was like, Jay, we need to talk. I'm going to give you two options. Okay. We either make some kind do it like a ah uh, yeah, that's something else I'll have to attend to as well. Video together, or I'm gonna come on here, or I'm gonna go on a bigger podcast and talk about it. And he got he did he threatened me again. 
he said that he was gonna if you do that i'm digging up dirt you go and do go on some kind of podcast i'm gonna come out with that dirt and then it, which is true he did say that it, the funniest thing about that jay and i minus the other phone call i was talking about where tommy called me a pussy um <laughs> which that's fine that's okay we always <laughs> always always talk through voice messages just because it's easier like that's very true that it was just easier even before i was a stoner it's like what did jay say and he'd be like oh shit what did i say to you and it was just nice to have the voice messages there it was just until recently where that phone call in the car where i got emotional not over that but other shit um and where he duped me he did basically the same thing i meant forgot to mention. remember where like stuttering craig was like you're i was doing errands literally and he's like stop your car right now you could fucking talk right now you know why manipulators do that you're one of them too jay isn't it a cool club to be in they know that you're not you're not thinking you're not on you're gonna fucking be discombobulated and then things will come to your head later and it's like god damn it but they now like i said what jay saying yeah i kind of extorted you is all hearsay because i don't have any proof of it because it was a phone call that i did not record okay jay i need you to do this or rich i need you to do this and and again you guys were here for the streams when jay was here this is the most viewership i've had in like fucking a year at least <laughs> How many times did Jay say that there were how many people were pussies and shit on YouTube and they can't they could dish it but they can't take it? That's the man that's now saying he's going to sue me. I what else can I say? What else can I say? Do you need any other evidence besides that? If you're still on his side after that, you're a fucking idiot. And the voice messages are there. It's you just want to hate me. <laughs> that's it like i i don't play that victim card you know that you're just looking for a reason to have a hard on to hate me quicker to just talk and type and with the typos and shit this one time minus he's like no you need to noise vid obviously things are going to be repeated yes it's done after today uh if you're if you're serious about this we need okay to talk relax on the phone. and in that phone call which was a phone call i didn't have a message he said that, yeah, I, I essentially admitted to extorting you. And I'm like, oh, shit. I, like, yeah, oh, yeah, I started seeing fucking colors. I was so, so pissed. But here's the thing. He's a manipulative, pretty smart fuck. So I'm sitting there talking to a friend, the same friend who's watching the show right now, who I won't name, who remembers he said he broke the retainer, Jade. Who literally saved my ass. Too. I was like, I know why he didn't want to leave voice messages. It wasn't that it was, he wanted me to be super serious. He wouldn't have said that in a voice message because he was afraid something like that. I would have leaked. He's That's... a man of his word. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so, but no, I didn't leak any voice messages, Tommy. Not one. Not a single message. Not a not a single so, fucking DM. Yeah, but he told but he told he told you that he was gonna dig dirt and fuck you over, and he did. See? So how? So well, yeah, he did. You already kind of yeah. He not kind of. You already did. I know there's a lot of people that I'll never get back. Thanks, Jay. In a way, you win too. But don't worry, you'll be quitting streaming because you're fucking boring and editing multi-level marketing seminars in no time oh no oh, okay yes yes he is a man of his word he's a great he's a great guy so you should have fucking he, paid him he so, followed through so he does this right did you end up paying him what you owed him for that month it will yes i paid him more than he was owed for that month and this is before so this shit i'm talking about happens that should have so, been the end of it then, so right? you yeah, I paid him. That's that's another thing I'm seeing, another narrative out there. that. But then this has been said for a while. I think Jay even said it. He was paid and then some. He got paid $3,000 total and the computer, which is not for work for me. So consider it a gift now, Jay, if you want to get into semantics. And that computer is at least 1100 bucks, like I said. Probably more than that. You that's pay it. him. You pay him, right? There's, yes. a, there's a money dispute. You want to get rid of him. He goes, no, I need to get paid for the full month. And you're like, no, dude, I'm, you're not even working really, right? Yeah. You end up paying him 
after this controversy gets a little bit bigger, right? And then he still goes out and fucking exposes you and tries to put dirt out there on you? Because I left him those DMs where I was pissed off, which is still on my stream. They were He tried to make them like they were horrendous. And I'm like, dude, I'm sitting here thinking about this. Can you charge and was, back? And I, and I, what I did was everyone's like, Rich, what did you leave Jay? Because people were starting to DM me one time yeah. and I was live streaming. So I'm like, all right, I'm fucked in the ass if I don't play the messages. That's clippable. Because people think now I'm a fucking monster and I'm fucked in the ass for playing the messages because like, oh, you're airing dirty laundry. But I'm like, it's only my messages. I only left him like this fucking monologue. He didn't. It's nothing from him. I have ever leaked a single fucking message. Guys, now, now I get that. I get that. What I'm saying is when I hear your point of view, I'm on your side. I would really like Jay to get here to hear Jay's point of view. Hey, Jay. Oh, wait, he never showed up you on this, but I would love him here, too. Everything that I'm hearing, I have to side with Rich. I, you guys see me with my me employees, too. right? I fucking <laughs> publicly scream at my fucking employees. You want to know why? You want to know why? This whole, like... Not that I fully agree with this either. It, Jay, it, and Jay, he won't say it now. He's He said he... I, what did he say in the Circle Jerk podcast? You could take that name if you want to, because it's essentially what it is. That I drove him mad. Again... How many YouTubers are looking for fucking editors? You could have went off into the sunset anytime you wanted to, champ. No, there was no, it was, ver, it wasn't even verbal like someone told me. He took fluctuating payments. Online <laughs> employee boss uh, fairy tale. But the thing is, is like I treated Jay good. I like we had disputes. We had we didn't agree all the time. Nothing to this fucking level. But again, Bert man, you know you're in this business, bro. He <laughs> A person's telling me, what did he say? What did Jay I'm not stupid and oblivious and ruin the community and no drama. That's why I didn't join. You're a fucking liar. I'm a size fan. What? Wait, which one? Is, which one is it, Jay? Which one is it? You didn't want the drama. Your lawyer didn't want you to. Johnny Cochran came down and he is now reincarnated. Was it Johnny Cochran that told you that? Did you talk to Bill Gates? And he said, no, you know what, man? It just don't do it for the community. Did you talk to did, did you talk to your mom? And your mom was like, nah, just... Or is, was it the lawyer? Who was it? He's a fucking liar. Do you see now? He said legal counsel said he can't do it for legal reasons. Now he doesn't want drama in the community. Okay, Phil that you're supposed to treat everyone with respect. Added a wept. Oh, oh. Tacoma wept. Yeah. And it's one of those broken clock is right, whatever the fuck the saying is. Again, we're going to watch the Phil clip. Oh, he can't make decisions, dude. He's, he's fucking losing it right now. And that's true too, dude. I can't say there's a couple people because like what they said was fine, like Boogie, but there's so many people dropping fucking truth bombs right now. And you're supposed to be nice to people? No, <laughs> they're your fucking workers. You yell at your well, fucking no, employees. Well, no, pause a pause a Yeah, and there has to be a balance. Second, let's go. Uh, let's like meet halfway. You don't treat well. Okay, I I do. Didn't. You are in no treat. position. You are in no position to take, Rich, to take up Rich, Rich, listen argument. to me. Rich, <laughs> listen to me. Did you work a real job prior to being a YouTuber? Fuck yeah. Had terrible jobs. Oh, hell yeah, yes. And yeah. how were your... Did your bosses handle you with kid gloves? Rich, we need you to come over here. Rich, we needed you to do All this. All right, all right. 
Good point. I remember my boss calling me a piece of shit because I wouldn't show up when there was two exactly. feet of snow outside. I'm from the, the real... Yeah, oh, God, I remember that. Yeah, there was like two feet of snow outside. Now, admittedly, here was where I was wrong. I should have called in saying, look, I can't come in because of the snow. But they probably would have made me come in anyway. He didn't like... It's funny because that was a good job, but towards the end, things kind of fell apart because, well... I hit. It was funny. I loved working at a restaurant. I was good at it for a while. I was good at working in the kitchen, and I was good at doing takeaway. It was part, was part of Outback Steakhouse. I sucked at being a server, though. Oh. Uh. And he was like, yeah, you're fired for the, for not coming in. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was uh, very professional of me. World, I'm from the real world. What's up? Where Katie? your boss yells at you and says, "No, do this, do that, do this." I am too. I had to remember it's it's because for legal reasons Jay can't come on and it or or the draw it. But no, now it's the drama in his community. Maybe maybe in five minutes he I wasn't feeling well. He's literally, and you know what's funny. He's handling this all like Phil. To the schedules, to the chill streams, to guilting people by making... Look at one of his fucking streams. It makes me angry that he did this stream. I'm sorry. That thumbnail. Mwah. Mwah. Love that thumbnail. Yes, that's the marijuana making me do that. Where is it? Did it... I bet you he's... Oh, look, is he doing shorts? Oh, wow. All right, there's not that many. But he's still doing them. Really? Fucking really? Oh, I got something else to show you, too, that pissed me off. You know what? Ugh. Where is it? I had a panic attack during my live show. And he has a sad face. Okay. And then I was fired and it's my birthday. All right. That, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. But that's not that far. Like, come on, dude. It's so, like, talk about, guys, feel bad for me and give me money. You start streaming and that's, like, in your first handful of streams. No, I'm not mocking him for su suffering from a panic attack. You're looking at it wrong. I'm mocking him for making the panic attack the focus of his stream to make people feel feel pity for him and give him money. That was the topic and thumbnail of his stream, and he looks sad in it. That was manipulation. That is a fact. Pescator, if you disagree, tell me. That's fine. I'm not looking for yes men, but come on. For fuck's sake. I have nothing as a person who suffered panic attacks multi countless times. Woken up from my sleep with my heart rate at like 200 beats per minute. Shaking. I understand panic attacks. But that is done. This is the context is the key. Do you understand? That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not mocking him for having a panic attack. It's bait. Thank you, Quasi. There's people that under the, there's people that get it. Thank fuck. It's not that I'm making fun of his panic attacks. I'm making fun of the fact that he did that to make people feel bad for him so he gets more money during the stream. That's different. Like I do like I said, dude, I work. It's a, yeah, Pescator, thank you. It's a beta way to start a streaming career. If you're having a panic attack on stream, maybe don't stream. Yeah, take the day off and put up a tweet and say, look, guys, I'm not feeling well. You could even, I mean, look, say you had a panic attack. I've done it on Twitter before. Like, look, man, my anxiety's fucking me in the ass today. Probably said it just like that. I have to chill. That, but to do that, that's bait. Like, seriously? 
It comes off as clickbait. Thank you. I'm not making fun of the man for having panic attacks. They suck. They're awful. They're terrible. Oh, he can make a new video and choking on his own dick. Maybe his voice will not sound like fucking... What did I call it before? You go to Human Resources, you pussy. You're probably what do you crying think I'm gonna? It. You think I'm going to lie to the audience? You think I'm going to lie to these people online that I'm fucking I mean, over respect. there treating my fucking employees like they just won the lottery? Like, hey. Can I say one thing? Hey, Jay. Here's the thing. Would you like to edit today? Oh, you don't feel like it? Okay, buddy. Have a good one. <laughs> like, no. One of, you want to know one of the... You just reminded me of something. All right. And I listened to some of that fucking Circle Jerk podcast. He should name it that. And Jay said, I was on call for him 24 7. I'm like, dude, was I fucking Foxconn? What, did I have like a suicide net yeah, at your house? He where said I would that. He you? literally said that. Like, I was on call 24 7, like he was my, my, my nurse or my assistant. Like, I'd call him up to like make me breakfast at like one in the morning. Give me a break. Jay, you're editing at three in the morning. I'm waking you up. Oh, you're having sex? Pull your penis out and start editing for me. Oh, that was a thing I said. Not to me. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> mid, mid sex, he's mid, mid, mid sex, he's made you edit. Man, damn. But uh, <laughs> pull your dick out of your wife and get in front of uh, Premiere, you bastard. <laughs> I'm like, dude, there's maybe been a head. I don't care. I'm not watching it. It's like I, I'm telling you. After this, it's done. Oh, well, I guess that kind of... handful of times, I'm like, hey, Jay, I made... All right, do you want to watch this or do you want to watch 8-Bit Eric? I'm not going to do a poll. Let's watch this first, I think. Your story yeah, came up. This. Tell me I'm... We'll end the stream with Eric. Lying, Jay. And I'd be like, dude, if you could do it, great. I understand it's different time of the day. Whatever, if you can't, fine. Another thing he said, he's like, God, I would wait for Rich all day. Motherfucker, I would, str I would stream till like 2 in the morning. Have Is that a lie? Not always 2 in the morning, I'll admit that. But I would stream late. But recently. Oh, fuck Phil, too. Not actually. But I would stream till like 2 in the morning. And the thing is, he made it like he just sat there. Yeah. See, that's a good point, too. It's just going to raise my blood pressure watching this video because I'm sure he made it a bunch of deflection and whataboutism because if he had something, he would have came on here for five minutes. He has the time. He was here. He has the time. I was sent that he was crying in Discord. He just knows going voice to voice, he would look like an asshole and naturally sound like one, too. That's just he just oozes assholeism. Was he trying to be a wrestler or something for a while? there and twiddle his thumbs and waited for me i would call and be like hey jay i'm up i got up at like noon one o'clock i'm ready to edit and, he, and it, he'd be like at the grocery store or doing something else or sticking his zelda sword up his ass i don't know he didn't did i really say that and i was i was sober here too sit there and just wait for me with bated breath get real jay dude does, what's he gonna blackmail you about i swear to god these peep these unemployed people in now, I'm going to admit another one of my flaws. My communication skills can suck. Jay said that. There. Because I have to be... If I'm making it like... If I'm being fully transparent, I have to admit to what uh, my shortcomings. Or else people are just thinking I'm putting out... A, like, I'm just trying to throw someone under a bus. Which, yeah, I'm throwing them under, under the bus with truth. In the fucking but remember, he's suing me, but he's not suing me. He doesn't want to bring drama to his dwindling community. Chat that are bullying you like you're a bad guy. They're fucking unemployed. Are <laughs> oh, see, this is... Oh, man, I should have just started off just being the bad guy. Uh, it's something important. All right, roast the ever living fuck out of these unemployed losers that don't have a fucking job that are acting. <laughs> hey, guys, you want to talk about horror movies? Hey, guys, I'm going to have a cop on. Do you want to dare to keep the kids off drugs? And he looks so fake. It look. All right. Now, now I'm just letting my personal despisal of him. Stop it, Rich. Personal hatred. Uh. 
What is the JKB song? I don't even know what it is. Like, you need to treat this guy like they want me to. They wanted me to pay like a kid. I didn't make a song with him yet. If you mean. JKB back well, with another episode. This is from Super Castlevania 4. Let's make it creepier with Vosh. I'm a size queen. And he likes big dick. I like big dicks. And Tacoma wept. Tacoma wept. And then you saw his lolly horse porn. <laughs> if you have... I'm getting chills from that mucking music. No, I'm not going to start crying. That will be a meme that will never go away, and I will hold that like a badge of honor. I ha And I was shirtless. But if you have not played Super Castlevania 4, you need to stop fucking watching me right now. Stop watching this drama bullshit and go play that game. Just say it. Keep a fucking friend fund. I'm like, you know what? Give me your give me your routing number. Give me your banking account, and I'll keep Jay around as long as you want to. I, I, I would say to yeah. these fucking people uh -huh. in the chat, listen, do you know what a boss is? A boss is the fucking boss, all right? You're... <laughs> I forgot he said that. God damn. Based fucking Keem. Based fucking Keem. Let's go. Fired. You're fucking fired. That's what a boss does but when here's, you're not doing a, your shit. That's, and that's what happened. And here, here is the last thing, too. When I said to him, like, Jake, oh, good. I get to see the reactions to this lunacy. I didn't see it before because I was just flatly going. You literally said you essentially extorted me. He's like, dude, you're out of your mind. You're nuts. I never said that. I said, Jay, you've worked with me for almost six years or about six years. Even if I fucking hate someone, and you know some of the people that I hate, I won't make up shit about them. I could think you're the, like, I hate Pat the NES punk. I hate him. I hate his fucking hair. I hate everything about him. <laughs> Why did I say that like that? I could have just said I hate him. <sighs> but I won't make up shit about him. You're saying to me right now, when I saw Red outside of the mall, that's where he, I had to talk to him because I was going in to get something, that I just, I was making that up in my mind. I'm going to put out that you said something that you didn't say. Yeah, man, you're, 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 doing, you're doing it right now. You know what like, I love okay. about this chat right now? It's on members only, so everyone agrees with me because they're employed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Just keep shout, out, <laughs> shout out to all the employed people who don't get them. And yeah, person, I almost said your fucking name. Thank God I didn't. Thank you. You saved me some work. Appreciate you, bro. Emotional attachments to people who don't care about them. Jay doesn't care about you. He I doesn't. Like I'd like to speak to all the unemployed losers out there. Thank you for your membership, and I hope you, you continue to subscribe. <laughs> so imagine uh, saying... And all this happened once Hoot Wireless left the soundboard. I won't hit the applause because I know I'm getting too heavy with it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hoot Wow, that got to come back, man. That's a banger. That's underrated, I think. So he's like gaslighting me. He's like, bro, I never said that. I'm like, really? And now, here is the banger, and I kept quiet about it. Everyone starts to me. Look what Jay... Like, it's funny. I was chatting. I could say this. I was chatting with Justin Silverman. He's like, yeah, I, re I recommend you don't go on the podcast. And he was like, oh, you didn't listen, and you're going on the podcast. Good job. <laughs> and like I said, I really was like... This could be smite. Even if, like, I know I'm in the right with... I fucked up big time in the beginning but afterwards i know i'm telling the truth but this could still backfire spectacularly i gave myself a 40 percent chance to come out with unscathed <sighs> holy shit man uh he wrote he wants to sue me <laughs> yeah i know and i know i have a good energy for a podcast too let me just survive like the next couple months and we could i could <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, chat does agree with us. Uh, well, one person saying Keem is wrong, but it just is what it is. A job is a fucking job. Your boss is not your fucking friend. Your boss is there too. 
And that was another mistake I made. I think I said that super early on. I will, if I do employ, like I said, I would rather go bankrupt than even it's like, Rich, if you an intro guy did a podcast and like some soothsayer came to me and said, I predict you'll make fucking $10 million a year each. Nope. I know that's like, you're rich. You're just saying that. No, no. Like I, he's like my brother. I like, you're going to have disputes with business partners. Eventually it happens. There's, it's just life. I'm not going to lose a friend over a fucking show. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, that, I, that's where I was like, eh, Akeem, like, look, if you need the whole, if you need to, you know, put it down. Yeah, if an employee is like you, like, hey, dude, I caught you jerking off in the bathroom six days in a row. You, you, you're like, no, you're fucking fired. But you show respect, but you also don't get tr stomped on either. You know, there's a healthy balance or should be. To boss you around. I don't remember the actual name of the podcast. Uh, tell you what to do. And if it gets to a point where you're not doing your job, regardless of the boss isn't giving you work to do or you're being. Yeah, I wasn't giving him work to do. There is things that Jay pissed me off with, like your streams are incoherent. I'm not chopping them, even though everyone and their mother, el everyone else is. In lazy. But there, but that was part of it, Jay. They're just. It, the, the, the days of like three news stories a day are over. They're over. There's a couple channels that still do well, but that's dwindled to a couple channels. The ship is fucking sailed, man. Accept it. Easy. Then you're going to get fired. You're going to get let go. That's just the, how the world works. All right. Yep. Now, look, yep. can I, I can I admit my faults too that I'm sure was frustrating to Jay. So I want to put look, I my communication with him on days would suck where I would <laughs> if you got time to read it. But I'm saying like here, that was the thing, too. Like, there's no work, but like, hey, Jay, you want to do uh, some clips? No, I'd rather quit than do clips. OK, all right, I guess you're not do. OK. <laughs> And then, like, he could partially, I think this is how this went down. So if there's some context I'm missing, Jay, by all means, correct me. But with shorts, I was like, yeah, the sh you were. Like, we talked, like, are we going to continue doing it? You're like, nah, yeah, shorts aren't really doing anything. Meanwhile, I'm talking to people that I won't name to that are, like, millionaires because of shorts. But I, that's my fault. Like, I'm the guy with the YouTube channel. He failed multiple times with his own shit. I should have listened to myself, not the guy who's my editor who failed on his own. Because I'm a fucking idiot. We'll get to him later in the day because the other shit would come up. And yeah, I would be like, hey, Jay, there's no work. And I would get to him late. That was something too. But here is the thing. I'm not saying I was a perfect person. I'm far from it. But guys, would he have stayed with me for almost six years if I was a horrible person? In a sea of content creators who would fucking suck a fart out of someone's ass to have an editor. Why would he stay with me? Now, he did good work for me for a while. Like, you could be rich touche. Why would you keep him for a while? I did. But towards, you could even look, there's... And you know what, Rich? Why would you keep him around so long if you were debating? Because I got comfortable, too. Beyond the, we would go through the whole spiel of you should keep doing it. What are your nuts? I got comfortable, too. I became a lazy fucking bum. It got too easy. It got too easy. And that's all me. Uh... uh there's a short he put up that it, he just made it was 16 by 9. He made it 9 by 16. I told him I wanted clips for my streams. I asked him multiple times. He goes, I would rather quit than clip your... D duty, Coot Wireless needs to come back. Hire me to make clips, then refuse to, then fire me. Dude, I still like... Imagine, tell, imagine your boss... I hate sounding like this because it sounds like I'm being... A, 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 a egotistical dick i'm not but ima it's just a realistic situation imagine your boss came to you with a task and you just say no nah, i'm not i'd rather quit than do it they'd be like hey there's the door go fuck yourself and leave and then better yet if your boss lets you go you turn around and go well i'm going to expose you you ever see how that how how well that ends when when pete when people get fired and lose their shit or threaten the boss at best, you would be escorted out by security.
That he brought that up too. I didn't mention that here. It's like he, Jay's like, imagine you go into Costco because I'm the queen of fucking Canada. JKB back with another episode. And you work there, and your boss lets you go, and they call you a parasite. Valid point, but I have a counterpoint to it. Uh, did you did what? Did the employee threaten to expose their boss and call him a lazy piece of shit? Which, quite frankly, I did get comfortable, and I got lazy. But you turn around and say you're going to expose your boss if you worked at a Costco. At best, you'd be kicked out and fired. Your streams. <laughs> he said that! <laughs> I got motherfuckers to do that shit for free. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> and, he, and, and he's like... Oh, let me rewind that so you could hear that abundantly clear because I know I said it before. Jay, like, why would you keep him for a while? I did. But towards... You can even look. There's a short he put up that... He just made it, it was 16 by 9. He made it 9 by 16. I told him yeah. I wanted clips for my streams. I yeah. asked him multiple times. He goes, I would rather quit than clip your streams. <laughs> he said that! <laughs> I got motherfuckers, dude. Yeah, let me show you something real quick on Review Tech USA. Oh, look. He's getting a lawyer, but he's not getting a lawyer. It's just drama. Uh, let me go to my sh let me that sounds weird. Let me go to my shorts and scratch my balls. Skip uh, it about up. No, stop. Uh look at this one. Look at this short. Now, Rich, you should have paid attention, but look at this short. Sunday, February eleventh. He just put it up like this, didn't check it. Eleventh, we're gonna have a Super Bowl man celebration. We're gonna have men. Instead of, like, redoing it... We're gonna have me, we're gonna have Jay, we're gonna have birds, we might have breasts. We're gonna try to get a special guest. Come on. I'm not saying it wasn't funny, but make it fit so when... Dude, what are people gonna do if they're looking at a short and it's like this? They're gonna fucking move on right to the next one. Oh my god. Anyway. But again, why well, I should have been like I should have been on that and been like, Jay, fix that shit. What are you doing? I was on my watch, so do that shit for free. Right. Yeah. And, he, and, and he's like, he's like How much? and he's like, You're right. You're asking me to sit there and dig through. I'm like, motherfucker, there are detractor channels that sit there and do it in minutes for free. Yeah. 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 Why can't you do it? You take the file, you put it in whatever software well, you're using, you see what people are talking about, or you see where the- <laughs> like, Keem's like, shut the fuck up, but I was on a rant. It gets louder, and you know something's going on, you chop yeah. it. Ta-da! Rich, 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 you, you want to know why your former editor, Jay, is not showing up here? He probably heard me- He probably heard me go off on our editors for not doing their shit. <laughs> probably. No, he wouldn't show up anywhere. Any podcast that was like of decent size, he wouldn't show up to. You know what I mean? <laughs> he doesn't. Well, dude, you I know you make coin off your channel, but you get my point though. Like you're doing it. It's not that hard. He made it like it would have been hours upon hours. Dude, you put the fucking file in there, you look at it, you see what's like, oh Rich is talking about Phil here. Which when am I not? Chop chop you could see by the volume if something's interesting okay you may have to scrub a little bit like i do this shit like i'm not like as skilled technically as jay but i'm a pretty decent editor i know how it works i know i know how to you know what i mean i know the tools like you can't tell me you can't do shit with the tools when i use the same ones <laughs> because he also knows that I'm not saying I didn't make mistakes here, but he's doing this whole manipulative. I'm the victim. Look at me, dude. Just fuck off. He's just trying to stay in the. Uh, he's like, look, the whole thing went through. You were wrong. They're all. You fucking yeah. hate him. That's the end of it. But here's the thing: if the story's over, Rich, then you can't be your dream of actually being an influencer. Uh, crush because your story arc is over. So now yeah. he's suing you, which he's never going to sue you. I, I'm no. Yeah, Tommy is 100. I forgot where he was going with that, but he is 100% right. If he stops talking about this and people just tune in uh, and people just he, he's not going to get people to tune in. He's not he's not enjoyable to watch. I know that's subjective, 
But there's many people who, who have like, even like, Rich, I hate how you handled this. But <laughs> I tried to sit through a stream. <laughs> it's it's not it's not a fun thing to do. I tried. Especially because I hate you. I couldn't do it. I was going to say both you and Jay made errors in this drama. Yeah, yes. You and him both have made mistakes and both have good points towards each other. Yeah, but I didn't try to gaslight, manipulate, and threaten anybody, though. Yeah, I fucked up making that anger Facebook post. Those messages I left him, no, I don't take those back. That was, I wanted to vent to him on a private matter, and he decided to bait that with that fucking dog whistle post, which forced me to put him out there. Beyond me being an ape on Facebook, he made this go into the stratosphere. You don't think messages are left between adults all the time where we're pissed off at each other, especially in business? Like, it was funny. Now, obviously, I'm not a CEO of a company. I'm not comparing myself to Tim Sweeney. He, could, he has more money than God. But there was a court document that was released that he was talking shit about Apple. Did Tim Cook go to Twitter? Uh, yes, Tim Sweeney said horrible things about me, and it made me cry and hurt my feelings. <laughs> oh, really? No, he's not going to see yeah, he's me. Never, he's never Jay, gonna Jay, see I, I will... My... Yes. He literally... Private messages I sent him. Put that up on, on Twitter. Are you... I don't know if you're, like, pissed at me for... Oh, my God. Of course he should do that, Rich. My fat ass we're, will go we're bankrupt. We're still talking about him. We're still talking about him. Listen, I'll end it with this. My fat ass... Okay, so you could go... If you think he's more entertaining, I mean, that's fine. Go watch him. He's here. I'm not stopping him from streaming. He could stream his heart's content. We'll go fucking bankrupt, get in the prettiest suit. I will go there with a smile on because you know what? It'll destroy your reputation and I'll get publicity out of it because a giant pussy from Canada wanted to sue me because his feelings were hurt. And the funniest thing is I have receipts and then I'll shut up because I know Keemstar wants me to. He would... He's not even there. I didn't even realize he's not even there. He just... Yeah. Just like I say with everybody else. Like I say with Melanie Mack, I'm not stopping anybody from watching anybody. If you want to if you want to have a statue of Jay in your living room and you want to have a, a monitor up on top where you are constantly watching his highly engaging, totally incredible streams that are chill and full of positivity, then you could watch them. I know I'm being a sarcastic prick right now, but I'm serious, though. Like, watch what you want to watch. I'm not stopping him. But if he didn't think I was going to state my case with this and then move on after the shit he's done to manipulate this and gaslight me, he had another fucking thing coming. Come on and say all the time, all oh, these people are so sensitive on YouTube. They're What's up, Mari? What's wrong, Mari? What is a fisher? I'm sorry. We would talk about it in streams all the time. And he wants to sue me now because his feelings are hurt. Yep. I'm getting sued for you. Hold on. That, I didn't do this all. Kick fucking rocks, too. Don't don't even go down that hill. You could go suck his balls if you want to. But I, no. I also, I just admitted a billion times to where I fucked up here. But if you think he's an angel in this, you're an idiot. Sound like Phil talking to his audience right now, but for Christ's sake. See, what about I'm, KFC? I'm, I said the only loser in this is the local KFC because when you have to sue them, you can't buy their product no more. They're going to go out of business. I don't understand. I still don't get that joke, Wings. I, wing, <laughs> wings, where did KFC? I, I'm a fat guy. Where did KFC come up for? Um, you you, you like murders. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I, am, I, am a, I am a. Yeah, this is true. They're going to think I'm lying about this. Your head, oh my God, your head would explode. If it's, it's, I end up eating fucking veggie burgers at two in the morning. I could see my veggie burgers. Growing. Come on. Yes. I don't believe it. I swear to God, swear to Christ. I'll say it here. What they don't understand is, yeah, I get the Morningstar Farms burgers. And sometimes it's like, 
I got I'm got to stop doing it. I I'm going to fuck another fucking thing too. Therapist, no veggie burger. But it doesn't matter. A calorie is a calorie. It doesn't matter if it comes from a veggie burger. It doesn't matter. And they're not low in calories. I don't know why I'm saying this, but it's the truth. You look look at a veggie burger. It's like sometimes you're better off eating a fucking real one. Eat that. I eat veggie. Yeah, no, dude. dude, it doesn't matter what it is. It's the cal have a good night, Jostler. Calories, dude. They're not low calorie. Yeah. Look at my breasts. Anyway, <laughs> I clipped that. Hundred percent, Trey. Yes, yes. After the stream, I'm not uh, like. Let Ape and Eric make a video. Let Jay cry. Let him do it. Cry, cry, cry. Anti slap state. What is that? Uh, saw this for. He said he couldn't clip your streams because they were incoherent. That's what the person who's the other things about the retainer and stuff. What? Like, how can other people clip it if my up? Uh, yeah, okay, I'm stoned. How do all oh, the other detractor channels clip it, Jay? How do they do it easily in minutes? That's all I was asking you to do. I wasn't asking you to make my clips into Scorsese, you fucking moron. <laughs> yeah, I, I, would, well, I would like to see clips of you fucking blasted out of your mind. That sounds hilarious. I agree. I won't hit the applause again. Like, yeah. Yeah. And he was like, I don't want to do it. If you ask me, to, like, who said, like, hey, I'm paying you. Could you do this since we're not really doing news stories? Because the industry is like a contract would have benefited you. Yeah. Wings is right. He's 100% right. Hindsight being 2020. Yeah, uh, yeah it would have. Uh, lessons yeah. have, mistakes have been made, Wings, and lessons have been learned. Yeah. Actually, yeah. actually if you, I mean, be honest with you, Rich, I know I've been picking on you. If you would have okay. said to him, I'm, I'm paying you for this month, and after that, it's done. I'm going to pay the full retainer, and that's. I think in this situation, I get a fucking pass, K Jab. I don't mean to hit the applause on myself, it just felt right. Me not talking about this, like, yeah, okay, I got pissed off and the Facebook thing was awful. Shouldn't have fucking talked shit on Facebook, no matter what he said. But the other shit that happened, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna re repeat myself again. In my opinion, not doing what I did here would have been more detriment. There's people that are, their minds are made up. I know I'm just like a broken fucking record now, but. That's it. The one, you know, the one you gave your word on. This guy doesn't have his leg to stand on. If no, you yeah, first that's true. Yeah, eight bit Eric wants to wants to fucking suck his cock. The, listen, man, yeah, okay. and that look, we had we had that debate. Well, Here's the other thing too. Allegedly, people, a lot of people said this. Why did you just cut him off? I forgot about this part. I didn't write it down in the notes, so I didn't forget anything. Other times where I was like, Jay, at the end of the month, we're gonna go. Yeah, this is a banger. Oh, you know, I need to do my own thing. It has been yeah, but I hate applaud applauding myself when I'm just like, I think I'm saying something witty. It's like, hey, Rich, you're jerking yourself off. Congratulations. You know? he's It's been like three times. He's literally begged to come back. You know what he did this time? Even after he said... No, I don't care what they say. I don't care if they do like an expose. I don't give a fuck, dude. Uh... Oh, let him cry. Let him cry together. Let him cry. Said he was going to expose me. I was. I went for a walk, and I uh. see he's like, "Hey, man, I'll just take over the main channel." And someone was right about someone being a snake. I wish I listened to you sooner. I was just like, "Ah, you're nuts. You weren't nuts. I was an idiot." Oh. <laughs> what? He's gonna pull a pescatore. tour. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, listen to what he said again. This is dead ass true. Why did you just cut him off? I forgot about this part. I didn't write it down in the notes, so I didn't forget anything. Other times where I was like, Jay, at the end of the month, we're going to go, you know, I need to do my own thing. It has been, a, he's, it's been like three times. What is uh, uh, the Queen of Canada saying? I won't say who's giving me this because I want to keep knowing. Oh no, Jay's banning me from his Discord, which I'll never fucking go to again. Wait, hold on, here. Uh. I'm trying to get a tear out. Oh, here it is, here. Here's your my I don't give a fuck crocodile tear.
Uh, he's literally begged to come back. You know what he did this time? Even after he said he was going to expose me, I was go I went for a walk. Eat shit, you piece of shit. And I see he's like, hey, man, I'll just take over the main channel. Yeah. DM me who exactly it is. Immediately after I'm done streaming, they are gone, person. <laughs> what? He's going to pull a pescatore. tour. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, he wanted to take over the whole fucking channel. The whole channel. It was insane. I know I'm repeating my... It's just... Let it go. What here. the fuck are you talking about? You want to buy it? If, you, if the number is right, maybe I'll look. I'll go off and stream and fucking do what? He's like, no, I can't afford it. I'll just take it over. No! What? No! What does he hope to accomplish with that? That never works. Yeah, it's like... It, YouTube used to. I think people do it now. But it used to be against the rules that you couldn't sell your channel. Now they let you. But it made sense when they, because the person is the channel. Selling a channel, because, like, people are it there was, for you, not him. It was so weird, man. It was so weird. And the thing is, again, the payment dispute, <clears throat> if he didn't threaten me, it would have worked out behind the scenes somehow. Like, it's not the first payment dispute on the channel. Well, I got a question, uh, Rich. W what was the blackmail going to be? I don't know. I don't have, yeah. I, dude. I'm a pretty boring fucking guy. But like, I don't know. I've only I've only heard hearsay, and I don't want to throw it out there because it's hearsay. Say it. I don't care. I th I think he was wanting to call you a pillhead. A pill? You wanted to call me a pillhead? No, I'm not. Yeah, I take a sleeping bed once a night, and I do pot. No, well, I think that gets misconstrued. People have people have literally said because I take the ed the edibles that I'm a drug addict. That's been a thing since I've started doing edibles. Yeah, like you're on like on pain pills and stuff. Like you, I take I take something at night for sleep. That's it. That's all I take. I take a shitload of pain pills. Um, I, I don't have. Damn, Boogie, you got to. I didn't see him jiggling those before. That's a menagerie, bro. That affect me. Look, if you're actually in pain, uh, you know. Rich. At the end of the day, um, this drama is done and over with on your channel. Or done. You still Okay. I am for this is why I'm here. Okay. Yep. What well, like this is it's I am going to say to people, please refer to this whatever episode this is. It's true. Like what else needs to be said? That's it. Like yep. I don't want to talk about I'm smoke I'm a big yeah. I look like I'm smoking meth, you know. I'm so slender. Doesn't meth make you skinny? I think it does. About him anymore. I don't want to. Like, I just, I'm done. Like, yeah, I know I've went back and forth out of anger because he's played this sympathy card, which is ridiculous. Especially, the the money issues was resolved very early on. Yeah. Okay. So, well, I'm Jay, done. Jay, Jay, get your ass here. Get your ass here. I want to hear Jay's point of view I and all this. Love for him to be. Here. Um, but all the reason why I turned uh, members off on chat is because when we needed a new editor, we had literally like 50, like over a hundred. I, I don't know why I said 50, over a hundred people trying to edit for this show. For um, this show. You should hire an editor, right? Bring it down to like a thousand dollars a month just to clip, right? Uh, bring it down to that. And then if you wanna do- I know he's right. And then I could focus on the higher tier stuff like I'm working on, yeah. High level shit. Bring it up to two thousand, and then after a certain period of time, give him a raise twenty five hundred. You know, no five five hundred's a rip off, dude. <laughs> I'd be ripping you off. I, I did like, I know I like if you're happy with the price, it is what it is. But like, I think I think the thousands fair. It's like it would be like a couple hours a day. You know, you're just clipping. It's not like you have to. You have put it. I would make like an intro for you and an outro. And you would just, hey, here's where Rich is talking about Phil stroking his cock for the seven thousandth time. Yeah, and you know, but you know what the thing is? Yeah, for clips, I'm thinking about it. And again, I'll never do the thing where they're like a friend and a personality. But uh, I like editing, Yo, man. I, I real to... quick, I'm sorry, Shadow Hunter. That Master Rambo, Rich is narcissistic. So let me see the. Uh... No, the Facebook message, honestly, my feelings there. No, I'm not sorry for my feelings in those Facebook messages. You're right, not at all. But it should have been handled in a different way. Who cares? 
Don't like that answer. Eat a dick. That is what we consider spam. Do it one more time. You're getting banned. Don't spam the chat. The chat's for everyone, not just you and your emojis. Go ahead, Rich. Sorry. So, yeah, like for clips, I'll do that. But I, I. Yeah, I saw that, dude. He was just fucking the whole chat was emojis. Enjoy the fuck out of editing. And I hope the project I have coming up, I'm not going to plug it here. I hope people see that I I'm passionate about this shit. So. No, plug it. It no, he didn't say this person. Jay said this. I don't give two shits. I don't care about Rich giving up about a bunch of lies. What's my lies, Jay? Tell me my lies. I'll send you a Zoom link and you could come on. Ape and Eric ran for the hills and made a video because it's the first time he's got views in his entire fucking life. I'm exaggerating a little bit. Um, where are the lies? Oh, where we had the phone call, you could say I was lying, and it's hearsay, which is why you did what you did. Fuck you. It's uh, a retrospective on the industry and how it's fucked right now, and it's about 40 minutes long, and I, to the best of my ability, tried to make it, like, as close industry as I Industry as in, like, YouTube or, like, industry? Ga like gaming? Yeah, he was hiding, like, Snort Hogan, and he was going to pull, like, remember the quartering did that? I gave him a Zoom link to come on. He was going to give it to a whole bunch of people, but they're both too stupid to realize you could just close down Zoom. In Amen. gaming, gaming, how it's changed and how the industry right now is like in limbo. Okay. They're not moving on. He just put out a fucking tweet yesterday. And he's getting a lawyer. The fuck are you talking about, Bulk Hogan? I think it was his pinned tweet, too. Are you for real or are you just trolling? I'm moving on. I'm getting legal representation. <laughs> Tweeting in response to my tweets. What were my tweets? What did I tweet? I stopped tweeting about him for a while. I start <laughs> Then I started up again when I saw that. And even after I saw that for a while, I didn't tweet about it. I kept it private. I'm like, all right, he's suing me. Ugh. I think he's full of shit. And he's not. I still think he's full of shit. I actually guarantee it. Almost. What do you want me to do? What what provoked that? <laughs> Explain it. What? Because I said hi to Minxie? And I was just joking around and being passive aggressive? Mr. Tough Guy used to tell every other YouTuber to toughen up. He gets a little bit of flack, man, and he folds like a deck of cards. You ain't built for this, Jay. Kind of like me. Uh, I know. He told me this, too. I forgot in the phone call. I could have went on Boogie. Oh, no. Which... Come on, Boogie's... Ethan Ralph. Oh, that's a good one, Jay. I could have went on lol cow and ended seven careers and went nuclear. Oh, now he's playing the I I'm he's that's another Phil card, dude. You're Phil, Jay. You're Phil. What's funny is Jay, you saved my career back in 2018. I said this very early in the stream. I think when you told me to stop feeding into the shit, you're doing you you are what you warned me not to be. Down to the name, chill, positive streams. He didn't have positive in the stream, I don't think, he, but. Um, and it's fucked, and I kind of just go and, I just went balls deep into it. Who is this? Who are you? Let me look. Dude, I don't even know who the fuck you are. No, you have nothing to do with this. Go, go kick rocks. 
to it. So it's like yeah. 40 minutes long. Because left wing fucks like you took it over and ruined it. You know yeah. what's you know what's you know what's really sad about the the gaming industry is think about the games like um a, now, around team, like that too. The reason why I like kind of like like I, I'm cool to sit there and shoot the shit on the locale podcast sometimes, but usually when I do, Keem is like, "All right, shut the fuck up. It's let's this is boring." Aw. <laughs> uh, they know there's a mole that I won't give away. Aww. Are they panicking? But they don't have to worry. Jay, you don't have to worry about a single thing after tonight. I swear on my kids before and I'll swear on them again. I don't have any other reason to talk about you. Spread your wings and fly and have a successful streaming career. 2007... Uh, time period that you were just addicted to that you played every day like no, that yeah. doesn't what what you know what's funny i play i mean i i that's when i got back into gaming and i was pretty into it in seventh generation i always tell you about my gaming hiatus kind of dirt yeah it was no it was definitely a gaming hiatus i kind of went in and out during the sixth generation of gaming but uh i play a lot of elden ring and now i'm playing a lot of it again for something and I've really been into gaming the past couple of years. It's kept me sane, too. Well, still need to see a shrink, but... What exists like that anymore? Like, for the kids, Every they, for the kids maybe up? they say Fortnite, right? But, like, yep. you know... All right, I'm going to stop here because time is kind of of the essence. Uh, yeah, great, great, uh, great short, Jay. Uh, D where could we watch the DSP? This, I'm sure Duty has it. Shouting match with Ape and Eric. Well, it's true. We don't. We just watch that now. Where is? Here we go. Here we go. Let me just piss real quick, and I'll be right back. JKB back with another episode. Breasts. I feel bad. I, I just won't name people because it's to their benefit and also to mine to not name them. Okay. I actually changed the screen without everyone yelling at me. <laughs> Which, thank you for doing because I'm an idiot. Get that ass big. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> Doesn't matter that I'll, I'm proud to be there. I'll say it right now, motherfucker. I'm proud to be in the uh, lol cow universe here. It's what it is. Embrace it. Don't be like Phil. And then they had Ethan Ralph. That's the best part of it. Okay, guys, we're about yeah, to start. Yeah, this intro is amazing. Uh, before we start, I would like to clarify something that apparently has apparently gone on. I had no idea it was going on. I yeah, see, you could tell from the beginning with Phil's, like, his voice and his inflection. Like, when, it, when someone asked him about, like, behind the rafters, I think Memeology uses it as a clip. And he's like, behind the rafters? <laughs> what does that mean? Like, What? And it's like, dude, you're overreacting. You know exactly what he means, you know? As usual, I'm always out of the loop of everything, right? And then I find out after the fact, and I'm like, what? what? I already know what happened. I don't know if you're here or not, duty. I, I, this is speculation, but I, I've, I know how this shit works. Jay wanted to have him on, do a fluff piece stream, hoping that people would also just tune in because he's talking to Phil. Um, but which didn't even work for the quarter, who was close to a million sub channel at the time, and he barely got like a hundred thousand views on it. At least the last time I checked, he thought it was the the detractors were like, "Oh, he's gonna do a circle jerk with Phil. He's food." Jay got nervous and made excuses. Wow, I am so shocked. What happened? Um. So I'm actually going to make a brief video about it right now, just to explain, and then we're going to go into Baldur's Gate 3, okay? Yeah, Jay, I, this, I love this job, and it has its perks, but yeah, there's those downsides that you're learning on being your own little content creator with a big limelight on you. It's not as easy as you made it out to be, huh? Gets a little stressful, gets a little tense. Sometimes you're human and buckle. You're just a bitch and buckled early, but yeah. Hmm. Did you start noticing that the detractor community was on to you and you would have been in their sights? I know the answer. Okay, so I'm going to do this real fast because I had no intention of doing this. But being that apparently there's some nonsense uh, going on. No, thank you person for sending that. I may need a shorts person. Or Eclipse. Shorts I got to do some experimenting with. I won't name the person either. I'm be I know I'm being anonymous, but I'm doing it, I think, for noble purposes. Um, and then once I get a stride, maybe. The big videos, like the one I can't shut the fuck up about, those are mine, though. I'm not saying that like in an arrogant way. Like, I love doing them. I do. They could get tedious, but it's just another creative outlet for me. I just like to, to clarify. I'll do clips 2500 at a PC. I love you, dude. <laughs> Could have still been someone else's job if he actually did it. Didn't say I just did an incoherent streams. Verify the air because some people have been asking me on stream about this for the last couple of days. Now, duty. You'll you'll tell me like it is. Do you think Phil is telling the truth here? I meant to ask you before, but you, you dipped out before. You know Phil. I think even better than me. You don't think Phil's telling the truth? Okay. Uh, and I'm like, I don't know. I really don't know anything that's going on. All right? <clears throat> so I'll do it quick. We'll do like a five, ten minute video. Here, let's do this. I know a lot of you watch Phil. Let's do a poll. I think this is one that's worth a poll. Is Phil telling the truth about Jay? Maybe I should wait till after you watch it. What does Elon Musk say all the time when he puts up stupid fucking polls? quick and then we'll jump into Baldur's Gate. Relax, Peg Danis. I'm sorry. Did I miss your super chap? Oh, I'm sure there are tears and crying. Uh, 
Oh. I was wrong. Phil is lying. I found out from somebody that he was he he uh what it what was said? Again, I won't name the person. DSP is lying. They talked before his first words to Jay in Twitter were DM, let's fuck him over. All right, so Phil's full of shit. <laughs> Ah, Papa Gut. That's a good point. He's he's a short short machine. Okay. Uh, yeah, you've been muted by the fat dude. That's fat dude. That's why. Never mind. Phil is full of shit. We can get rid of the poll. Dude, he was right. The, remember how uh, it's a Gundam. He always says that the tractors know Phil better than anybody else. I give you Exhibit A. All right, here we go. Okay, everyone, hello. Phil here, making an impromptu video. Wasn't planning on doing this today, but I guess... Wait, he made a video? Okay, now we're here in multiple levels here. Watch Phil's video. He explains and reads the DMs. Some stuff is going on either behind the scenes or public... No, I didn't know he was lying. I have no... I, I, I usually can tell when Phil is lying. Clue. As you know, I don't... Oh, this is the video. Cool. Okay, let's go. Get wrapped up in drama. I try to stay out of it as much as I can. That, well, that one first one. All right. Instantly, that one is a lie. Okay. But there's a situation going on right now, and I just want to clarify it from my perspective. All right. Take that as you will. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that's a lie, weekend, duty. Uh, I had someone come on my streams. Their name was One's Two Cents. And, you know, they were very supportive. They contributed to one of my streams. And behind the scenes, they shot me an email. And they said, Huh. I like... That's a familiar name. How you handled the situation with Rich and Jay, his editor. All right. Now, for those who don't know, I don't know anything about this. I don't follow the real situation. For what I'm to understand, I guess Rich Review Tech US. Mm, I'm learning more and more every day. You never stop learning until you're dead. Say, had an editor who he paid to do a lot of work for him. And I guess they're having some kind of a dispute where he got fired and he thinks that Rich owes him money. I have no clue. No, the money got paid after the Facebook shit, and we had to talk. So, the thing of the money never getting into Jay's hand—that is bullshit. People are—I've seen people pushing that narrative. You could stop. Well, you're not going to stop. Why am I even saying that? Okay, I really don't. I don't pay attention to any of this. I don't care about the drama of others. All right. <laughs> Let, let's see. I'm a pillhead. I'm a pedophile. Um. I don't know, you could name the other shit in the chat. But someone had asked me a week or two ago about it on stream, and I said, you want to know my honest answer? I don't care. I don't care if Rich is having some kind of a fall. I know that's a lie because Poems Future said you wouldn't shut the fuck up about me. <laughs> and Poems Future leaves receipts, sir. Falling out with his viewership and audience, and now they don't like him because they think he did something bad. In truth, my here's my rationale and thought when it comes to this kind of stuff. Yeah, what well, used to be one of your supporters then took Jay's side with the drama and now sucks his thick Canadian cock. Mm. Buy one's two cents. See you later. Hope, dick, hope Jay's dick tastes delicious. JKB back with another episode. And a dick. Stop. All right. I wish everyone the best. I want everyone to be happy. And I feel like if everyone was doing well and was happy, no one would be nasty to each other in life or on the internet or anything. Phil, yeah, Phil, listen, I know I, I step in drama shit way too much and I, I need to curtail that. But Phil, look, man, you do drama, you do drama, but stop saying that you don't. It is what it is. Yeah. Well, what is his days off? He goes to the grocery store with his wife and watches her play Sky Fidella Skyrim for the 7,000th time. Right? Like, if everything was going good and everyone had a good, lot, good stuff going on, why are you going to go after someone else? Right? Because for me, when I'm happy and things are going well, I only think about enjoying that. I don't think about, oh, let's go attack someone else and have a bad time. And maybe you're someone like Rich, the fact that he makes content that's derogatory to others, you know, gossip shit. Maybe that's why he does it. I don't know. Maybe he's just unhappy in his own life. Who knows, right? 
but he is in talk shit, though. Yeah, Phil, you know all about me, Phil. Thanks. But I'm not involved in any of this shit, because people were like, well, are you happy that things are falling apart for Rich? And I answered, no, I'm not happy that things are falling apart for Rich. I Man, that's kind of changed a little bit. I don't care about it particularly, but at the same time, just because there's someone who I feel has done me wrong in my life, I... Bulk Hogan, you know who the simp is? Uh, yeah. You're annoying. Uh, you, you've been... I, I, I've given multiple chances. You could go uh, swallow Jay's nut and uh, write a poem on the flavor of it. The first ten times. I don't wish them hurt. I don't wish them discomfort. Tell me how the poem goes, bro. Comfort or pain. I would just. I wish everyone could be happy and just get along in their own Sorry. lanes or whatever, and not bother each other. Right? That's my perspective. Okay. People are saying, "Oh, the game music is playing while I do this." We should just leave the game music playing. I'm gonna leave the game music playing while I do this. Why not? The epic Baldur's Gate music. Is well, yeah, per anonymous person. It's funny because the person you screen capped to me too. We actually had a very pleasant conversation about something. Who's going to be in Jay's Discord? His sicko fans, and they're going to have a circle jerk cope session. Who told you to kill yourself? In the background, as I make this video, this is pretty funny, huh? All right. So anyway, that's all I had to say. I wish I wish Rich well. I hope that whatever happened. Nah, Master Rambo, I bodied fucking Jay today. If you want to go white knight for him, please go. And you know, I don't wish him poorly just because personally, this guy has had is having negative stuff going to going on for him. Yeah, who told you that, dude? I don't. I'm not happy for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even want to be. In no, Jay didn't say that. I can't. As much as. I'm not a fan of him. Well, I don't care. I, I just want everyone to be happy, right? So I guess some people like that response. They thought, oh, Phil will be rev. No, it's when you keep saying the same stupid shit over and over again that has been discussed and debunked that I'm just going to block you at that point because you're telling me, I want, like, what do you want me to say? Yes, you know what? I'm just going to succumb to you because you keep writing it incessantly. Reveling that because someone who's made fun of him for years should be in a miserable position and he's not doing that. And they respected that. And I think Ones to Sense was one of those people. And so... And unfortunately, you know what's funny? Yes, obviously all the shit show has not helped this situation in the slightest. It has made it exponentially worse. Um, but no matter what, and this is another mistake. I think I forgot to mention this on the Low Cow podcast. Is... I'll never have, like, intro guy will come by, and, and, I, I, and it's fun doing streams with him. But I, like I said, I would never work with him because I value his friendship more than making money. Um, uh, I lost my fucking trade of thought again. Fuck weed. So he contacted me over the weekend and said, would you be interested? What's not been debunked? What? Why is Jay not, don't, it's not legal shit. He said it went from being legal reasons to now being fucking, he doesn't want to get involved in drama. He could have aired his case out in front of thousands of people. And if he had the damning stuff, why not be there? First, it was legal. Now he doesn't want to get involved in drama. He could crawl under a rock and go fuck himself. And having like a chill stream with Jay, I guess Jay is the former... Jay, Phil told you to kill yourself? Oh, Christ. Oh. Editor of Rich, because he's a really down-to-earth guy, he's a nice guy, and he's expressed interest in you and maybe talking with you. And I don't know, Jay, well, I don't know anything about him at all. I've never had a conversation with him. I've never heard him speak. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. He went on a small stream that he didn't, th like, just so, like, a smaller group of people who would be like, oh, Jay, I feel so bad for you. Nothing. I know nothing about him. And so I got this email. I said, all right. So I went on Twitter and I realized I had Jay blocked. Now, probably it's because during the years that he worked for. Yeah. And because he talked, he talked uh, not as much as me because I've watched you all the time. But Jay was just as he roasted you just as hard as I did. 
for Rich, him and Rich have done derogatory tweets and things about me. So probably that's what it was, and I probably just blocked it to stop nonsense on my timeline. So I unblocked him, and I sent him a DM. And I was like, hey, so I've heard that, you know, you're interested in maybe having a chill stream or something. I, when the fuck did I get an invitation to that stream? And secondly, I'm still willing to talk. Well, no, I'm not. I'm done after this. I was willing to talk. Was. Why did it have to be on... on uh, why couldn't it be here? Perfect place for it. This is where I used to work. You know, it was funny. We were supposed to do an asterisk. We were supposed to do a stream together, but we knew we hated each other. And it was just like, it was going to spiral into this anyway. Because it was going to be a video. But then people were like, Rich, if you do a video, that people are going to say that things are edited and blah, blah. I'm like, all right. And I said to Jay, let's do a stream. And then I got busy editing. And I'm like, because I was doing that uh, retrospective. I'm like, I still fucking hate him. I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> now, in this kind of setting, I would. But it, we just knew it was going to devolve. And it would have probably been even more disastrous. But I was like, ugh, fuck you. So, and here's the thing, because it wouldn't have been a video like we're doing like, it's like, fuck this. Or it would have been on the Locale podcast. And if he had damning evidence, it was like, hey, guys, we don't see eye to eye anymore. So we're going to go in separate directions. No, it would have been like, you motherfucker, you extortionist piece of shit. And then he would have said shit to me. We would have fucking, it would have been a war. Something, you know, we can talk about that. I, my my perspective is if we do it, we shouldn't even bring up Rich at all. It should just... No, I didn't admit to starting it all again. Here, you know what? If... Good, I'll get rid of some trash tonight. Again, I'll keep saying this. I should just have... Go suck Jay's dick in the corner if... <laughs> just be a stream where we just talk and hang out or whatever, right? Oh, Jay could come on now. Let's discuss it. Oh, boy. He has until the end of this video. By all means, baby. I'll send that Zoom link, motherfucker. And so he responded back, and he's like, well... But, at, well, but once I end this stream... I end it. Oh, that sounds good. You know, my perspective is... I, I want to have positive fun with games. Maybe we could just have a stream where we just talk about whatever we're doing, what we do, and stuff like that. And we went back and forth for a couple... I still think whatever Phil is lying about and not lying about, whatever. I still think that here's my synopsis with Jay. He also saw that, because I saw the detractors talking. I'm sure you did too, duty. They were ready. They were like licking their chops. Like, here's our next victim. <laughs> some of some detractors talk to me. Again, I won't name them either. They're like, is he fucking mad? Does he know what he is in for? And because Jay is a very soft man, the Queen of Canada, let's call him again. JKB back with another episode. He was like, oh my goodness, I may have to sue somebody. <laughs> did I, did I uh, fucking block you, you fucking simp? Now you're now you're hyper blocked. Hate doing it, but days now, like once a day, like it'll be night and I'm going to sleep and I, I'm checking all my stuff like, oh, yeah, let me see if he sent me a DM and I'll check and it'll be like, oh, OK, uh, you know. He, he responded, let me respond back. We've been going back and forth for like a few. Yeah, I think Phil is bullshitting here, I guess, because of what uh, people are telling me. But I think Phil. I think Jay also pussied out because he knew he would be like, even if you quit streaming, Jay, some of those weirdos would have been like a, th they're, they're, you may still be on their shit list now for even trying to get this going. Do you know any fucking trolls, Jay, or detractor, det detractors, gotta sound like Phil when he says Twitter, 
You know, if Phil's fucking detractors hate me because in total over years, years ago, I donated him a total of like 400 and something bucks. That was like a declaration of war to them. They hate me more than anything. You sitting there and metaphorically sucking his cock. Holy shit. Hell hath no fury like DSP's detractor community. And you saw it and you ran like a bitch. Danny's on it, okay? Um, where we had left it was Jay said that he wanted to have uh, a, a, you know, a chill stream, but he wanted to talk behind the scenes first. Like, maybe let's have a one-to-one -one conversation before we agree to a stream. Let's just have a conversation. And he's also doing this stuff because Jay's pat. Because even if, like, I came out and looked, which, look, I made mistakes, but if I came out and looked completely wrong in this whole situation and he looked like the, the bell of the ball, He's, he's not a good self-entertainer. I know it's subjective, and some people will say he's enjoyable. But he's tried a few times before, and it didn't work out. So he's like, fuck, what do I do? I don't have rich as a crutch anymore. I, I can't be a parasite. I uh, What do I do? Um, let me get a police officer on. So, like, I'm a high school teacher talking about, dr talking about how drugs are bad. What do I say? Maybe I could get Phil on and I could tell him how great he is and t be like, hey, guys, I'm anti-drama, even though I'm saying uh, in a Twitter post that I'm going to sue someone for hurting my feelings. I could sit here and just look at the fucking screen and not watch a video and be more entertaining. You could be with all the money in the world with production value. I'm not saying I'm the most entertaining person out there, but compared to you, I'm better in spades. Station about it, personally. Off I swear, I swear, I'm humble. I promise. Off, you know, offline, not public. I was like, okay, how do you want to have it? You know, we can talk on the phone, or you know, we can try to figure a video chat or whatever. I can do it maybe after my late stream or whatever. Like that's literally it. And that's where we left it. And that, I actually responded to him last night with that, okay? See, but there's just something telling me there has to be a decent amount. Like, there's just something with Phil's face. Like, I feel that at least there's some truth here. So come to find out, people are telling me now, oh... And again, even if this is like intro guy he was talking about, like, it sounds like intro guy, like, Matt, it sounds like he's telling the truth about you. Are you aware that he's talking shit about you on his Twitter? Oh, I don't pay attention. Who's been evading? Going on. So I just went to his Twitter, and and he literally just said on his Twitter, "Oh, yeah, I'm not saying this just to bring it up because I hate him. I do hate him, but uh, Jay is boring. It to be honest, uh, I had friends like in real life friends. Like, dude, like he gets fucking annoying in your streams. I'm like, ah, but people like him though, and you know, it's it's subjective. And... Man, yeah." I had some personal close friends that had some words about him. <laughs> you see? What's up, Andreas? I see you, OG. How you doing, man? Wait, you got Phil to say I don't suck balls? Oh, my God, dude. You... Oh, because of my ending? Hey, uh, Brian, do me a favor, and you could also write me a poem on the flavor of Jay's dick. And to the people coming to me, and, and you don't have to apologize. I've also gotten people thanking me or like saying you did good on the podcast. I appreciate that, too. Look, man, you only know what's out there. You can't, and a lot of times you don't know the mechanics of what goes on behind the scenes. You could only take stuff at face value. I mean, I appreciate some of the apologies, all the apologies, but my point being is that it's not, you can only go by what you know. You know what I mean? Phil is Phil and he's never gonna have a serious conversation and he was, he's not interested in a real interview and therefore I'm not interested in doing it even if it gets 100,000 views. And I'm like, what? Hey, you know what? If Jay is fine, I don't fucking care. Let him be fine. He could stay in his fucking lane. I'll stay in my lane. Just stay the fuck away from me, you manipulative bastard. That's it. I hate you. 
I don't want you off the platform. Do your thing. Like, what are you talking about? Rich, you missed my super chat. Jay did feel... Rich, I've been here the whole time, Mod. Please, I was just... I was watching both sides, but the whole suing thing. Yeah. I, I think... That was just a scare tactic to try to keep me. It was either him just playing games for me to react, which could very well be the case. And I didn't in the beginning. I got in it when he when he put up he was looking for legal counsel. Holy fucking Christ. I my DMs lit up. So he was either doing that to get a reaction to me thinking he was playing 4D chess or he was doing it to try to scare me off from going on a show so he wouldn't have to have a cope session like he's having now. When yeah, <laughs> it's everyone with the first thing. Like, people will just write in the comments. I don't respond to it. You, uh, where's Jay? Jay could have done this. Where's Jay? You're still doing news stories from time to time. Where's Jay? Don't worry about it. <laughs> what I do with... When it's your concern, what I do with my money, then by all means, you could hire Jay back to... No, no, I don't want him back. Did we say this? Right? Like, what? I We were having a behind-the-scenes conversation in DMs on Twitter about having a chill stream, possibly, and the next step was to have, like, an offline conversation, not public, about the specifics of how we could do it and what we would talk about, and it wouldn't even involve Rich. It wouldn't be a drama conversation. Okay? On his timeline on his Twitter, he's... I damn right I'm flexing it after what happened. Literally saying, I'm gonna... I could read it right now. I just posted it up, by the way, on my Twitter timeline. Uh. Imagine. Oh my God, you're reading DMs. Oh no, Philip, don't you do that. Jay will cry, and he'll lawyer up. Uh, I said to Phil, if you play XCOM, w would he complain about bad game design because of the permadeath? He pretended to respond to an email when he. Yeah, he he has a way of doing that where like he'll like as soon as he sees it something he doesn't like, you'll be he, he is fast with those hands, man. He's the Jet Lee of banners. The DSP thing was something I wanted to do because he reached out to me and that never happens. I thought we get a little more insight into Phil if he opened up. I can't picture DSP reaching out to Jay. I Jay is full of shit. I'm going to give Phil that one. There's no fucking way Phil would have reached out to Jay. Give me a fucking break. Even if, it, like, no. However, he obviously only wants to do a fluff interview despite Rich, which I find funny for someone saying they don't want to get... And I got, I'll get to that Streamlabs in a second. ...involved in drama. At this point, I don't think we will ever get any truth from him, but I tried. What? I can't see the motive to reach out. It's not like Jay's like a fucking form. It's he's it's not moist critical. Yes, everyone was right. Phil is Phil. He'll never talk about anything serious. What are you talking about? Yeah, and Jay, you were the one who put out the you wanted no drama and you wanted to be positive. I saw the tweet, which you cried about me reacting to. I would have reacted to anyone else interviewing fucking Phil. But God forbid I act, reacted to you doing it. Like, literally, what the hell are you talking about? I have no clue. That's not what what we were even talking about. So it sounds to me, I hate to say it, it sounds to me this guy is a snake. He was. Oh, you know for a fact he reached out? <sighs> I'm so glad. I'm Like, I genuinely, wholeheartedly, I'm fucking glad I'm not talking about this. It's just... It's too much, man. It's like days of our lives, except with fucking nerds. Okay. He was trying to bait me into some kind of a, a conversation. Then, and then eventually he was going to talk about personal shit or whatever, right? Exactly. Is it even the same person I'm talking to? It's on the same Twitter account. The DMs are attached to the same account where he's posting. This sounds to me like this guy's either, like, bipolar, is two, he's two personalities. <laughs> or I'm talking to two different people on the same Twitter account. Or I don't get it. All right? But just so you guys know. We were, he worked remotely. I would send him stuff through Google Drive. Oh. 
Uh, I have no, I had no interest in doing that. He said, if you, someone... Yeah, why was Duty's comment deleted? Told me he's a chill, down-to-earth guy. He'd like to have a chill stream with you just to talk about games or whatever. I'm not jumping from one drama ship to another one, <laughs> at least for a very long time. Let people talk the talk. That's what I proposed. He said, yeah, that's what I would like to do. Let's have an offline conversation about it. Okay, how do you want to do it? And then I find out he's posting that up on his Twitter timeline. Get a life. No, really, Jay, get a life. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what you're trying to bait me into. No, whatever Phil is lying about here or whatever, I'm telling you, I know Jay. He got scared when he probably saw... He was probably getting, like, messages, too, from, like, dude, you're, you're gonna be fucking food if you do this interview. And he put his tail between his legs and made up excuses. Dude, I'm not doing nothing. Get the fuck out of here, all right? That's the God's honest truth of what's going on, and I'm not involved with it anymore. Obviously, I'm not gonna talk to the guy again. Fuck him. In fact, you know... Oh, Jay, you're just going to be on. And how many people? And you know what's funny? I said this to someone else who's a friend who will remain anonymous. There's a lot. Like, look, the whole thing with, like, Wood Hawker, for example, and Pat the NES Punk, and Ian, like, them overreacting to that stupid fucking video that we made about uh, Diablo Immortal. Like, get over it. Yeah, you're on my shit list. And Wood Hawker, he actually. This is when Jay for a bit didn't work with me in the past few years, just because, you know, whatever. And uh, I made a video talking about he got kicked from the Nintendo whatever dick sucking program. And I used just as a joke, but it was his public thumbnail that he posted. He's like, yeah, look at me crying in this thumbnail. This is a great idea. Okay, so you put it on your th like, hey, I'm going to use a picture of Wood Hawker. I made a thumbnail with something with Nintendo. And Wood was all butthurt over it. Yeah, that was a serious moment. Why would you use that? Are you fucking kidding me? But my point being is that... And this is speculation, okay? And I want to make... Because I'm, I'm trying to be as transparent as humanly fucking possible. I also think Jay wanted me to burn a lot of bridges so it ensured more of his job security. That's not... That is speculation. I am pulling that out of my ass. But now knowing what I know, hmm. You know what? <laughs> I should have known better. Correct. Here we go. And let's go right ahead and go ahead and block him again. You're blocked. Now I don't have to deal with it anymore. Yeah, it's a tin foil hat theory. More. Now he can't DM me, and now I can move on with my fucking life. Yeah, who fucking knows? I'll never know, and that's why I said it's speculation. It, it, I could be just, I could be completely fucking wrong about that. That's why I'm saying it's speculation. Right? Okay, great. Excellent. Thanks for uh, for listening to this bullshit video that I had to make to clear it up. And now I can move on with my life and not have to worry about nonsense anymore. Thanks for listening. Okay. All right, that was a good one. And it had Baldur's Gate music, epic Baldur's Gate music in the background. Cool. All right. That's oh, sometimes you could have a sense of humor, Phil. Why, why do you, where does it go? funny because I didn't know what it, I have no idea what that sounded like I'll upload that video later again I don't know nothing about that Jay guy I, I, mean, I was told by this once to sense guy that he was a down-to-earth guy who actually had talked about interest about <laughs> yeah once two cents I think you're going to fucking ban world bro like just having a discussion with me hanging out not because he said that there's other things I found out too and I was like okay I'm old why wouldn't I want to do that why wouldn't I want to just hang out with someone for, you know, maybe a half an hour, jump on a stream or whatever, and just say, hey, what's going on or whatever, right? Sure, why not? And then, apparently, he's saying nasty shit about me on his Twitter. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Whatever the case. Oh, it's on. I agree that was bizarre. It was fucking weird as shit. You tell me where that came from. I, uh... That's, and the thing is, it has nothing to do with me, like, and again, whatever Phil is telling the truth about, not to, it, Jay doesn't know what to do. He's not used to being his own personality. He's used to always being the sidekick.
the queen of Canada sidekick hooved. Like, I, they're trying to, I guess they're trying to pull me into their vortex of drama or something. I want nothing to do. Ah, not me. That was all with him. To do with it. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna, he's the perpetual sidekick. I received a $3 tip. Hey, Phil, would you ever consider wearing tank tops or wife be- <laughs> All right. Guys, I'm exhausted. Uh, I didn't, I expected to stream for like a fucking hour tonight. Here I am for four hours. Streaming is like crack. It's like you stop doing it for a while. It's like, oh, but then you do it again. It's like, man, I like that crack. Uh, God, I miss Stone Age Gamer. I do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the support tonight uh, was absolutely insane. I mean, I'll talk about shit. Like, I have videos lined up from Melody Mac, uh, side scrollers. We'll get back to our normal LOL Lamau shit. Today was a good day. I needed today. I thought I was making an awful mistake, but luckily, for once, I didn't. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. 6 a.m. I would be, pa I would probably be passed out on the floor. But have a good night.